Well, because I don't have to get haircuts. Very, I don't. I actually don't have to go haircuts every very often. It's kind of good. As long as I can, as long as I can find a way to keep my hairline in check. Yeah, because it's super curly, right? So it doesn't like go out yeah, too far. So it's super curly. I mean, like, <laughs> other people do. I think it's just because I'm under constant sh- stress. My hair falls out a lot. I. Listen, uh, why I is that funny? To, I tried to ignore what. <laughs> So, I don't know why that was fun. He's like, it's super curly, right? And I look up and I just remember Andre's black. So, yeah, it's going to be fucking curly. I'm oh, just staying the obvious here, okay? I know, you're right. Easy. It's closed captioning for the v- uh, for the listeners. I totally get it. I totally get yeah, it. Yeah, but you saw how hard I tried to fucking I know, you tried to segue right, yeah. the fucking... What is that laughing? <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, no, I but that's true. Saw it, Alan. Oh, Welcome back to Weeb Gamer, where we talk about everything to do with video games, anime, weebs, gamers, and podcasts. And we are back for another riveting, amazing, super um, other insert adjective here um, week. I'm joined <laughs> once again. I think this is episode 39. You're really 39, baby. Time. 39. Let's get it going. That's almost 40, bro. Uh, almost. That's it, bro. If it, We're almost yo, old. I'm going to tell you guys right now. If we like get into a huge ass fight and never talk to again, each other again, I'm gonna release an episode by myself <laughs> because I cannot end anything on a nine. That bothers me. I'm nah. definitely gonna quit this episode. You know what guys, I'm playing video games, <laughs> <laughs> playing video games, and like having life stop at ninety nine. Uh huh. I would always make sure I get hit once. You just trigger your OCD. That's true. That being yeah, said, guys, just so I'd always get hit once. <laughs> that being but said, I like to like, I like to announce my retirement <clears throat> from Weeb Gamer Podcast. Same with Sean. We are talking about it. Things aren't going I our way you, recently. I would, I would just do it myself. I'm I just want, I, I just want to do it just to see Andre do an episode by himself. Literally, I just want to see him sit here and be like, guys, or like, guys, <laughs> <laughs> just keep on saying guys <laughs> and no one's there. <laughs> I bet you I could do it. I That's great because me and Sean have a Weeb Gamer rambling. podcast um, vacation coming up, so it's just going to be you for a bit. Really? No. no, no, no. Um, but yeah, I'm I think feeling Sean's great. The only one who hasn't taken a vacation. Sean's uh, dedicated, no, I've d- bro. I've been every episode. Well, if you, if you think about it, uh, yeah, but I mean, that's because his vacations the other six days of the week. No, no, his vacations, <laughs> his vacations, his vacations is the, the the twenty minutes that he makes us late every episode. So if you do the math, he's technically taking a week away from us. <laughs> No, I'm listen. usually on time. This guy hey, said usually. Hey, all I'm saying <laughs> is when we when we wrap up today, Alan collects all the videos, puts it together in a nice, succinct, beautiful episode for you guys to enjoy. That's right. He does. I take that beautiful, succinct episode, get a bit of it, add some subtitles. I'm like, hey, you don't want to watch? <laughs> you don't want to watch an hour and a half, hour forty minutes? Here's five minutes or one minute, right? True. Mm-hmm. Sean. I participate Anyways. in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's here, bro. Sean's a star. Okay, what do you want? Us, what do you want him I'm to do? I'm here for moral support. He's, He's talent. here for He's us. Talent, eh? <laughs> I'm it. getting He's there. Talent. I post stuff on social media sometimes. I'm getting there. Don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna pop off. I, I, gonna I just pop need off. to. I just need to find my my wings. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I understand, but ne- <laughs> Nase is not coming for you, bro. <laughs> Damn, oh, I'm sorry, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> She's not coming for you, baby. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's been a great, exciting time of anime. But before I get in there, I'm gonna do my best to put the gamer and weeb gamer. Woo! So you this didn't ask week, us how we're doing? I don't care. Who gives a <laughs> shit? Yeah, honestly. Video games. <laughs> no one else cares. Why should <laughs> we? Why should our listeners? <laughs> This week on Field Games, I um, <laughs> finalized my final three on Smash Bros. I think. Woo! Right? So I got nice. Link number one, Byleth number two, and Samus number three. Samus. Number one Top three. Wait, what? Huh? Link was number one last time. It was. You I was figuring that. out the third. I Link, thought you Byleth, switched Link with one, the other weird named one. What was it called? Byleth? The one you were, you were trying to use? Byleth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I was trying to get him as my second. Link was uh, always number one. The reason why I was using by this so much is because I've already established Link is my number one. Can you but play I it with to Link? Get... Now I can. Isn't he like you super know, slow I... though? <laughs> Come over to my house. We'll, we'll, <laughs> oh, I'll show you slow, Weeb sir. Gamer Smash <laughs> Tournament? I'll what? Show you slow, I thought Pikachu is your number one. 
No, he P. was Hughes my just number annoying. one friggin' P. nuisance. He's just annoying, bro. yeah. <laughs> he's my number one nuisance. This guy's so fast, and he's just too short, and he goes under every attack I try and hit him with. He's just too short, and I just miss because he's small. Down he's B, bro. Right, man. Anyways, anyways, yeah. So I established Samus this week, and um, I've been doing that. But then I realized that there's a reason why I haven't been playing Smash in so long. Um, I got bored real quick, and I um, haven't played in like a week. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's how it goes, that's though. Okay. It's how it goes, man. Nah. That's okay, man. It's okay. I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. But And then I started playing this game. Um, none of you probably know what it is, but it's called Blue Fire. Um, I downloaded it Obviously like a year ago is. almost at this stupid. point. It's like an indie game. It's an indie game um, similar to like Zelda with like advanced platforming. Yeah, it's so like it's an emo like, dude. It's cool. Yeah, but um, really? oh. yeah, it's fun. So I started it a while ago. Um, it crashed on me once, and then Ooh. I just never touched it ever again. <laughs> um, sometimes that happens. I don't know. Like you know, when you're trying to focus on a game and you want to beat it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then something happens to take you out of the experience, and then you're just, you're just like, over I guess it. that's gone. yeah. <laughs> that, that <laughs> always happens right before I pass a game. Like I played Literally. the entirety of Final Fantasy IX, and I never passed the end. I was, I was like, oh. Other stuff to do now. <laughs> That's what happened with me in Assassin's Creed 3. Really? Bro. Like, I, yeah, I wanted to, like, I was big on Assassin's Creed. I did all of them. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to enjoy my time. I spent so much time doing side missions, just exploring, mm -hmm. collecting stuff. And then one day I was supposed to play. And then I just didn't for whatever reason. I don't remember what the reason was. And mm -hmm. then six months. It took me six months to go back and... I was on the last mission. It took me yeah. six months to do it. <laughs> but you did crazy. it. You did it. Yeah, and yeah. then I was I was royally upset. <laughs> I should have just left it unfinished. <laughs> but Dude, that's I still, a whole other story. I watched The Office so much, and I still have never finished the last season of The Office. Like, really? I watched wow. through the first whatever amount of seasons, like, wow. so many times. Ooh, that's kind I've of a good segue. It's like, what anime have you started but know that the ending is not what you want it to be? Or, like, something happened where you're just like... We should talk about that. Not this episode, but that's what, a good idea. The ending? Like, no, like, is, what's anime you have what you started? Finished. Yeah, like, you haven't yeah. finished. Yeah. How would well, you know the ending well, isn't worth finishing? Gonna, that thing's going to be That's dead. what I'm saying. I, if we're not talking about endings, I was saying if we're just talking about anime that yeah, I started yeah. that I, like, fell off of is mm -hmm. One Piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Like, how I, I caught back that? onto it, and then I fell off again. <laughs> it's too long, man. It's been, it's been three years, bro. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel bad. Because, I mean, relatively, the amount I have to catch up is a mm -hmm. lot less than what I've already watched. So I feel like I should just do it. Because I've like watched why? over 700 episodes. Just read but then I realized there's still, there's still, there's still just read the rest. Get it almost over with. 300 episodes left, bro. That's and then true. everyone's like, oh my god, episode 1000 is coming yeah. out. This is a big event. Crash is Crunchyroll. Everyone's like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. What are you they've been, what's going on? Listen, they've been... No, no, no. I actually wasn't. Um, <coughs> I watched all my anime early, sir. Early. I didn't have to wait. Oh yeah, you did. But, um, early. Yeah, this is the one week that I did. I don't know why, but I was just like... I watched everything 20 minutes ago. No, my time management skills this week has been immaculate good i'm gonna i'm gonna like take this week and use it as use it as an example for future andre for years to come but i guarantee you starting tomorrow gone gone eh i like that Done. i like that enthusiasm it's because right? i don't have any the th one assignment that i had due tomorrow yeah finished today nice god damn so well done. now there's no immediate deadlines nice so i just feel like Time management, gone. You're That's unchained, nice. eh? You're Andre <laughs> Unchained. Andre Unchained. But that being said, we'll have a conversation after. So which anime are we getting in first? Actually, I'll do the Demon Slayer section this week. Okay. Um, They're fighting the other guy. Ron Goku is fighting the demon. And, oh. it's, still the, and it's still the moving, but we're almost there. Almost there, we're guys. Almost there. We're going to get there. there. I'm just still thinking Demon's about it. Jack Nezuko. I mean, I can't get her out of my Yo, head. Yo, that shit. That shit's guard my Nezuko. shit. That, yeah, well, like, well, that's your next year. Uh, that's your next year Halloween costume, right? God damn it, bro. Sean nah, is... I gotta get way more jacked. And then, nah, and you then don't. Yeah, I mean, and then I get a cleft chin. Unless you don't. I don't know if you have one already, but I don't feel like you do. No. I can never know. It, I can He's had a beard it. since I've known him. He'll never know. Really? <laughs> yeah. You never know what's underneath. I'll, I'll give you a hint. The There's no jawline. 
whatsoever. It's just that's okay, that's, bro. That's, that's why I need a beard. Fault. That's what beards are for. <laughs> man. Beard. I can't grow either. I got no fucking jawline. I got no beard, bro. I got best of no worlds. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but you are authentically you. You are the definition of 2021. Just like <coughs> what does that working. mean, bro? You're right. Also, Alan has had a girlfriend before. Being authentically us, so. yourself. I guess. That's what you well, are. That doesn't mean anything. You all right. Yourself. I want, Listen, I want a beard. The minute I grew bro. a beard, no. The I want horse beard, semen on 11. my face. Oh my the minute I grew a beard in grade 11, mm-hmm. I have never, ever shaved it. Really? Never. Still? Yeah. I always made sure I have at least a goatee. I have really? shaved like the sides before, and I'm just like. I just trimmed it, but I get all these baby. Terrible, yeah, like I won't grow anymore. I'm getting. Huh? It won't grow anymore. Oh, I got a haircut. I, I trim it. I just don't. Oh, shave. okay. Yeah. I don't okay, that's off. fair. You scared me for a second. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, child of God, you got like sand hair. <laughs> Jesus, oh, Walt. My gosh. But that's kind of that's kind of legit, no? Because I don't have to get haircuts very. I don't. I actually don't have to go haircuts every very often. It's kind of good. As long as I can, as long as I can find a way to keep my hairline in check. Yeah, because it's super curly, right? So it doesn't like go out yeah, too far. So it's super curly. I mean, like, yeah. Other people do. I think it's just because I'm under constant sh- stress. My hair falls out a lot. I listen. Uh, why I is that funny? To, I tried to ignore my. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. He's like, it's super curly, right? And I look up and I just remember Andre's black. So, yeah, it's going to be fucking curly. Oh, I'm just staying the obvious here, okay? I know, you're right. Easy. It's closed captioning for the view, uh, for the listeners. I totally get it. I totally get yeah, it. Yeah, but you saw how hard I tried to fucking I know, you tried to segue yeah, yeah. the fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, no, but that's true. Oh, Anyways, yes. Yeah, so, so okay. I don't have to cut my hair very often as long as I can keep my hairline in check, which is not. But that's why I'm getting a haircut on Friday. So don't worry about it. I'll figure mm. it out. Anyways. I need a haircut. That's for sure. What's next? Oh, my God. Yeah. Which enemies do we oh. want to start with? <laughs> um, Let's start with. Uh... Yo, Sean's been spicy today. I don't know what's going Sean's on. Sean's shooting <laughs> shots, bro. He looked at my <laughs> hair and said, whoa. Like, I'm not what saying the it doesn't look does good. Mean? This guy just a lot colonizer. This guy recovered from his COVID, bro. He recovered. And all of a I'm sudden. I'm still he's recovering. Just like, I didn't no, have he's COVID. just like, he's like, I am the conqueror, bro. Yeah, like, this guy said, this guy said I'm conquering. Okay, I'm it's just Alan when he took his headphones off. I saw how long his hair really was. I didn't notice that before. Well, I was, I was like, doing this. It, so it, I, it. I, I had it that. back. Oh yeah. And then, uh, and I was like, okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's go that. up. That's poofy. That's. Uh... <laughs> I got a ton of hair, but <laughs> yeah, hair. my dad's bald. <laughs> that's why. I guess I'm trying to compensate. My dad's bald, and I don't want to be bald, so I just grow my hair out. Um, that brings us to our sponsor, um, Keeps. Um, keep no, I'm yeah. Yo, yo, that'd be <laughs> nasty. That'd be yo, KFC, please <laughs> sponsor us. Would KFC? you say KFC? I don't. I, that's the first <laughs> thing that came. Well, you know the animated. You like said the we're anime talking about hair. KFC? Then I said Keeps, bro. Whatever, bro. All oh, right, Mister Clean. Video uh, game console. No, that's Wendy's. Whatever. KFC. Let's, let, no, <laughs> KFC did a video game. Console. Oh, they KF did. You're right. You're right. KF that? console. That's right. That's right. Um, what anybody want to talk about? Huh? Uh, decide which one's first. I can only for some reason think of Platinum Man right now. It's the only thing that's coming to me. Because <sighs> okay, that's the only thing so you care about. Let's I do Mashoku. Keep Mashoku Tensei. You want to do Mashoku? Yeah, because then... Wait, what, what, what else do we watch? Oh, Alan, yeah. The you, can, you recap it. Recap. M- Mashoku? Mashoku? I don't know. All right, bro. I got yeah, this. I, I, I literally just watched happens, it. But like if I miss... You know how bad I am with recaps. But anyway... So okay. uh, this episode this week starts off with our boy Rudius, um, not being Rudius, being his old self uh, in, in the God world. Uh, and he's talking to the God and he's like, um, yeah, like I, I, the God's like, hey, don't you like seeing me? He's like, no, I don't like being my old self. It's been a year since I've seen you or something like that. And then the God's like, yeah, but you know, like it, you're entertaining me. So that's why I didn't really talk to you. So he's like, OK, please. I do like you. Can you give me some hints on where my family is? Because we left off. Um, Rudy is going for his family and he's like yeah yeah but if I tell you you have to trust me 100% Lee and uh, Rudy's like alright I got you uh, let me let me trust you and he's like okay uh, you're gonna meet your step is it what is that his half sister right he, si- yeah half sister yeah half not step but it's half just his sister bro. yeah no it's half it's just his sister bro Yes, it is his half sister, but he considers her his sister. Okay, well, he meets he said he said you're going to meet your sister and your uh the sister's mom. Um so like yeah, use an alias and all that and Rudy's is really confused about it. So he gets sent back into the uh the boat where he is and he gets seasick blah blah blah. They get to land. Uh and when they get there, it instantly pops off with um him saying, "Okay, I'm going to go out and, you know, see what the god lord told me to do." Sees uh he feels this little person running after him and he does like this um Full Metal Alchemist uh, stance and the wall pops yeah. up. And he's like, wait, I know this scene. 
and um, and he puts the wall down, and there's these two guards like stealing a note from this little girl. Uh, obviously, uh, as you could probably tell, we find out that the little girl is his sister that he's looking for. Um, so he, he's now taking care of his little sister, uh, and he brings her back to Aris. And what's that guy's name? We never know his name. What's the dude with the thing, the gem on his forehead? Rudy, 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 Uh, so he said, yeah, don't say my name around her. I don't want her getting, like, knowing me as that person. I want her to show my good side. So, yeah, whatever. It makes sense. Um, and funny enough, the smartest uh, genius kid that he is, he gets uh, some hint that, ooh, Roxy wants to see you at the palace. And he doesn't find it suspicious at all. So he's like, okay, I'll be back. I'm going to see Roxy because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a pervert. Um, but, yeah, whatever. We, uh, we get to the palace, and they, they literally are at the front door. And the lady's like, yeah, we're going to go through the side door. And he's like, hmm. That's fine. I, I, I'm okay with this. And then uh, he walked through the corridor. We get to the part where there's this guarded door with two of the guards that he literally ran away from yesterday. And they're not doing anything. And they're sweating. Um, he doesn't find a suspicion. I mean, he has some suspicion here. But like he's like, whatever. I'm going to see Roxy. It'll be fine. Um, they open the door. And he sees that one character that I'm pretty sure everyone forgot about. It was the other apprentice Roxy had that really like liked her. Like He was actually a pervert, that guy. And he really solidifies his role by saying like he's going to use Rudy as bait to get Roxy to come back so that he can like do bad things to her R word uh, in, in Andre's terms uh, and then Rudy says like you're so dumb how, you sp- how is she supposed to know I'm here if you didn't tell anyone that I'm here and he's like shut up and he's like okay um, but at, at this moment Rudy is at the bottom of this like hole that they dug or like this other room that got enchanted by the king's barrier spell I think that's what he called it and Rudy cannot use magic yeah. and that's where we left off Did I forget oh, anything, yeah. Andre? That was actually... No, I mean, like, you got... Like, from a summary standpoint, that was really... Yeah, that's what I was good. Perfect. I need, to, I need to learn from you, bro, because, like, my summaries are too long-winded. I don't like them. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to get better, but... Uh, the key... The key... Really you want to be like me, the key is fucking forget everything and remember it on the spot. I didn't even yeah. remember what happened until you started talking. So. I just watched it. <laughs> I just watched it. I better yeah. remember what the hell I just watched. Um, but, yeah, what do you guys think of the episode? Um, Yeah, it's cool. I always love the <laughs> cool. interaction between Rudius and the God guy. Um, yeah. It's always interesting. And it's always like every time it happens, I'm always there. I'm just like, mm -hmm. what? I'm like trying to catch little subtleties to try and figure out what the God's like aim is or if he's good or if he's bad or like yeah. what the whole like. Yeah. Is or what he is. Or like because like I'm a cop between he's like some character that will interact with Rudius eventually or mm -hmm. he's just kind of like literally just a god that's just like hey i found a plaything let me just play thing let me, just <laughs> let me play with play him with <laughs> yeah, yeah literally <laughs> no like, i, I like, feel Rudius that this is basically like a toy so i'm trying i'm like caught between the two yeah. trying yeah. to figure it out so i'm always looking for like little subtleties or like hints and stuff but it's not giving anything away man mm -hmm. he's very an intriguing character he's fun obviously the interaction is yeah. always great the english dub, um though. and i find it but i <laughs> I, I don't know. I still haven't listened You still haven't listened, listened to the English dub of him? It's so good. <laughs> no. Alan, back me up I'm here. Not, I mean, yo, the, yo, yeah, yeah. That's like that's like Roswald on crack and heroin at the same time. <laughs> it's fucking great. That's a great that's a great <laughs> description of it. <laughs> it literally is actually very fine, accurate. Fine. Uh, this week I will make sure I do it and I will come back next week with thoughts. Yes, you will. Well it'll only be you um, next week, so you better yeah, you better know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I will think to myself. Yeah, think to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, One question I had um, was why was his sister following him? Like, uh, is it because she wanted to give him the letter she had to mail it out for her or something? Is that why? Yeah, I, I think, I think um, so. he came he came out of the letter yeah. house thing. Yeah. yeah. So she was going there to like mail <coughs> him her letter. letter. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know, maybe she heard something. Like she just saw him do it and it was like, oh, I'll just ask this guy. Kind of. Yeah. Well, yeah. Remember what? Remember know. what she said about her mom? She was like, "Oh, you yeah, know." If she's literally a legend, bro. She's just like, "Yeah, man, I'm a little girl. People help me. I don't." Have to so yeah, right? like, if, yeah. If you pout <laughs> enough and you're cute enough or something, like my mom told me, you can get anything you want. And I'm like, I mean, like that's kind of I mean, fucked right, up. But, but like, yeah, like, what the you're fuck? right, but fuck you. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Do Do we know how she even like escaped uh, in the first place? I think she just like snuck out. Like based on like how they were talking, she just kind of snuck out because. Mm -hmm. Like, partially, 
we can see that the guards don't like what they're doing. They don't want to yeah. do what they're doing. But like, yeah. um, the king dude or the prince, he's a prince. He basically said he's like, "Yo, I got your family on lockdown, bro." So mm-hmm. like, on like, lockdown, brother. Lockdown. Also, also, I'm gonna just say this. This is a v- side note. If I'm suspicious of a situation, yeah. and there's only a tiny square rug. <laughs> In a room, Do I'm gonna make sure yeah. not to stand on that. Never, never <laughs> step on that saying. shit. Everyone okay, really, always stands on it. The, perfect, perfect. The only <laughs> rug in the whole room, and he's Dude. just like, "Oh, I don't know what's under there, so I'm gonna stand there." And also, if he's standing on top of a hole, mm-hmm. what is this rug made out of? How does he not? How is there no give at all? Yeah, because oh, yeah. I was gonna say that. Like <laughs> at the end, I get it. It looked like a plank, but it wasn't a plank when we saw it. So what? How did no. he not fall through it? Um, I, I have no a question idea. though. I have a question though. We we, I thought he was going to be <coughs> fine. I thought he was going to be smarter the way he was because in the beginning of this episode he says, "Why didn't that god guy at least tell me how to use his eye properly?" I literally thought like mm-hmm. if you're standing in front of a in front of a door that you know is kind of suspicious, why not just use a little bit of mana and for, like mangekyo sharingan into the future? Things. That's one or like you you can tell the future. So when they open the door, you're going to see who's there. So like you know. Oh. Uh. You know I don't what I mean? think like, you can tell the future like in that way. He also um, knew he was there already. As soon as I think it's more like view. images. Like he can he can't see like his own future. He can see like where other people are moving into the future if he's already there. You know, he can't like I see guess. into other rooms. But okay, okay. If, if I throw there. a projectile at him, he'll be able to see. Yeah. It. So yeah, if I yeah. open a door, he'll be able to see the door uh-huh. opening. So if he, if he I should, can open the but, door uh, yeah. and he can see it opening, he can see who's in there and moving. But he already knew who was in there. Remember? Oh, as soon as he, yeah, uh, the, that's the right. Lady yeah, guard that's, said, that's where Lady guard goes. said, um, we're here. And then he's like, come in. And he's like, that's a dude's voice. Oh, it's probably this dude. And uh, then I yeah. guess he kind of just like walked in there and kind of said, hmm, what does this guy have planned? Yeah. And mm-hmm. he probably assumed because he knew Roxy was his teacher. Mm. Right. So he's like, I guess Roxy's still there. And this dude's just like in the way, whatever. Fuck it. I'll deal with this fuck fat it. soul to, to yeah. talk to Roxy. Like I want. Hey, this guy turned out to be a way bigger piece shit. of shit than even I thought. Yeah, he, like, he's, uh, we he's he actually a big already. He got like a bit yeah. too into it though. It was like, okay, boy, like Yo, chill. Use like, the R word, bro. Use the. You R-word. don't need to be that bad. Like you're bad enough as you are. You don't need to go. Is he a ne- kid? Like what step. the hell? Like is this He's a bro? child, bro? Yo, I think yo, absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's what they say, bro. That's what they he say. He really yeah. can do anything he wants, whenever yeah. he wants, whatever uh, he wants. And I love how and the guards are. Except run on a treadmill. I love how the guards are just super awkward about too. They're like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. I don't want it, but like, yeah, he's like oh, <laughs> no, because the guard. Didn't you hear what he said when he yeah. was in the hole? And she's like, "Okay, go find the girl." And she's like, "We already like burned the letter. Like, it doesn't matter." And, yeah, which I don't think they did that, did they? No, they didn't. No, they lied to him. Rudy's yeah. got it back. Yeah, yeah, you got it yeah. Back. yeah so they they, they definitely lied to him. Anyways, but she's like, "We've burned it. It's fine." And he's like, "What about your family?" And she's like, "I ain't fine." <laughs> yeah, I right. He's. I think he. And I think he has like leverage yeah but like they hardly take him seriously if they all just like ignore that like i'm (laughs) sure he's the kind of uh leader where everyone doesn't like him and and if he tries to tell someone to kill someone's family they'll just be like "Uh." yeah which i never understand i mean like (laughs) i guess i get it but like i don't get it because maybe they respect the king but they don't respect not this king no he's not the king he's the prince, prince right yeah so i was thinking maybe the king's a good dude but like the prince mm. is a bad dude so like it's but yeah. like if you revolt against the prince i mean obviously if his kid is doing this and he has no like even i whether or not he knows or not his kid's doing shit like this he may not be a good dude mm-hmm. but i just mean like maybe he's good at his job mm. right and then maybe they respect him and they're just kind of like they he earned their loyalty so or they like, just nah, fear I him. deal with this they could fear yeah. Him. or that sense. too yeah, yeah. that also Right. And again, maybe there's like a few of them. There's only a few of them who have to deal with the prince. And so if they do anything to the prince, then they risk having mm-hmm. first being labeled as traitors, mutiny, whatever. Mm. And then they have to deal with literally all of the other guards <laughs> who may yeah. not know what's going on over there. True, right? true. That is so true. I feel like it's a, it's a more I, difficult mm-hmm. situation that they're in mm-hmm. than first thought. And, like, it sucks because even, like, the first time in the alley, like, you yeah. can see. Like, usually in those situations, like, the guards... I don't remember which anime it was. It might have been this one still where, like, guards, like, they find a girl and they're immediately creeps. 
Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, but then this was like the fir- first time we're just like, nah, man, like we don't want to do this. Just please. Yeah. Just, they're basically just like, please just let exactly. us go, man. Just let us do this. We don't want any <laughs> trouble, man. Please. I, I would have loved. Like, no. <laughs> I would have loved to if, like, when they pulled the rug out from him, he just moved the earth to, like, go under him again. Yeah, because cool. he can he can like use magic like that, or just floated with wind magic or something. But been like, yeah, awkward. Okay, <laughs> no okay. One's there, bro. Well, let's say, I know, let's I know. Say... Obviously, like he didn't have the, the time to use magic, but still. Yeah. No let's say let's say we um let's say we we were past the door part. He's in the room. He's already talked to this guy. You already he, like Rudius already hears this uh, prince dude like start talking shit. Wouldn't you kind of get suspicious and start at least right there using your like force seeing eye thing? To see, like, yeah. the guard is going to... Like, you know what I mean? Like, I guess yeah. he was, like, caught off guard. But, like, it wasn't enough for me to, like, believe that. Cause, like, exactly. I agree, too. He, I agree, too. I, I, how fast can that guard be? You literally, like, soloed them. You soloed four guards. You literally, like, yeah. got away from them, took the girl, I your, your sister think, back. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking he's not really in that much distress, to be honest. Because, like, when he fell down the hole, he's just like, oh, I'm in a hole now. He, like, yeah. he was so chill about it. Yeah. And he tried to use magic. He's like, oh, I can't use magic. Uh, and, but, like, at no point did he panic. No. He never got mad. No. He never that got was scared. Nothing that, at all. That whole right? situation so, made me, like, <laughs> feel very yeah. uncomfortable. Because this guy is taking, talking, like, the crudest, like, most disgusting shit to him. And he's just like, yeah, but how? <laughs> like, he's just calmly responding with, like, but how is she supposed to know? Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> exactly. So that's why I'm kind mm-hmm. of, like... Andrew, wrong keys, man. I'm thinking that he's already got, like, he's figured it out. Yeah. Or maybe like it's just, like, the last time he was in the cage, and he's like, I'm going to just take too long. Rudgy. I'm going him Reggie from now on. I'm just calling him Reggie. Reggie's going to be like, oh, no, he's taking too long. And then he's going to come in, storm the castle, mm-hmm. free him, and then problem solved. Yeah. So, yeah. I, it'll be easy, yeah, I think. Yeah, right. So, um... Uh, yeah, you know, hold on. That, that's true because he was more worried about the prince being stupid than the prince being dangerous. Because he's like, "Yo, you gotta yeah. tell people I'm here, please, God." Like, <laughs> and then he's like, and then the guy's like, "Like, shut up." He's like, "Oh God, I'm gonna be here for a while." Then, like, if you don't right? say anything, anyone. <laughs> that's true. I, I totally forgot that part. Yeah, that's really funny. Uh-huh. But I will say, after that, Prince made a valid point. He's like, "You're here," and then he's just like. He's like, yeah, I'm fucking oh, yeah, dumb. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking stupid. He's like, I just happened to be here, though. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, I wasn't even here because she, I knew she was here. I just hey, bro, was he here. Tested a th- he Literally. tested a theory and it uh, worked. That's fair. That's so fair. What you one for do, one, man? technically, yeah, it's that's true. That's how science works, bro. <laughs> that's how science works. And he's just like, I'm going to sit here and just wait. Yeah. Very patient prince. I'll give him that. Very patient. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, also, how, how funny was it? Um What's the red-haired girl's name? I always forget her name. Eris? Yeah. Aris, Aris. How funny was it when Eris was like, oh, good luck, Rodius? And he's like, shh. And she's just like, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, she completely <laughs> forgot that he told her not to say his name. It's so funny. Oh, I like their chemistry, though. But it's yeah. a lot, a little bit a little bit better than before, so. Yeah. yeah you know, funny. second wife, yeah. it is what it is. No, no, no. I think she might be. She's nah, not she's first, bro. She's not first. Nice try. She's second. I kind of think she's first. No, nah, Roxy's first. Nah, Roxy's first. No, no, Roxy's, Roxy's not last, first. Man. What the Roxy's hell? Roxy's first, definitely bro. last. Roxy's first. Roxy's Three second. Definitely last. Uh, the uh, the Elf girl might, the only third? the only qu- Elf girl is the only one that could be first, yeah. and I feel like she might be. <laughs> it's gonna be like this thing where him and Eris are gonna make like the greatest connection. They're finally gonna like. Like actually start getting together and stuff, mm-hmm. and then immediately the elf girls are gonna come in, and then Rudy is gonna be like, "I'm out, got a new one." <laughs> so and yeah. like, I need my old work. <laughs> <And then laughs> nah, sure. man, I'm telling you, like elf girl is evil now. Like the second yeah. they meet her, she's gonna be the evil like dark maid. Nah, nah, nah. They're gonna be not even the bully really was nice. evil, bro. Even the bully was waste. Man. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but all bullies he used to throw like rocks that. at people. Now he's getting tied up by half naked women. That's how it happens. Don't bully kids. That's what happens. (laughs) Grow up. Well, don't tell people that, man. They're going to start fucking (laughs) bullying (laughs) people. Holy shit. (laughs) Nah, it's all right. And then watch. And then, you know, Rudia's sister's Noel is going to marry the the demon guy with the the thing. It's all going to be good. It's going to be fine. Rudia's sister? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm calling it, man. I'm calling it. What are you talking about? I just don't doubt for a second. What did I (laughs) say? (laughs) <laughs> I just went. Reggie's yeah, yeah okay. gonna, he's just gonna be like Reggie's Mary Rudius' sister. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna be a. Uh, it's a Rin. Shomer. It's gonna be a Rin. Show me. Remember, that's age age with this world happening. is weird, right? Roxy is like a hundred and whatever, and she, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but she also doesn't have any feelings towards Rudius. 
It's oh, the oh, other way yeah, around. Yeah, right. Yeah, watch. It's coming up. She's going to be the maybe not the next episode, but the episode after that. She Trust, She doesn't, dude. bro. She likes her his dad, man. Not what? Me. What? Don't no, you she remember likes, the scene? She likes a relationship with her dad. Come on. Yeah, but <laughs> well, watch when the time skip happens and Rudy she, becomes looking like his dad. Then what? Then see, what? What are the rules for that? The rules is that Rudy is going to get jacked. No, no, no. If a human's, if a human's natural lifespan is, say, 100 years, yeah. and her natural lifespan is 1,000, Right. Right? If yeah. say it's a thousand. Okay. Is it like a proportion wise? So like No, I don't think so. If Rudius is eighteen and eighteen is the age, does she have to be like a hundred and eighty? Is that no, how it works? No, no, I don't think no, so. Because they still of, mentally grow at the same rate. Yeah, that's exponentially shitty to be honest. Because like if he turns like forty, she's technically still turning like twenty one. If if that's no, how that works. She's turning forty. According to what Sean's saying, she's turning forty. Mentally, like your ment your your maturing mentally yeah. stays the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you just it just goes beyond. Yeah, yeah. but okay. Let's say he's a hundred. She's gonna be three hundred. But she's technically no, still she's... only. You know what I mean? Yeah, but at dead. that point, once you pass, once you pass eighteen, all fair game, right? What? According to law, so it doesn't matter. That's true. She can be, she can be seven hundred and sixty-two, and he's eighteen. I mean, that's quite an age gap, but like. Fair game, you know? That's what I'm saying. If she has kids with a human. Also, Inuyasha's 90, 90 million, Kome's <laughs> fucking 14. No one yeah, questioned was, it back then. Uh, <laughs> some <laughs> people did. Man, did cat they? people I don't age nine, the same, bro. bro. Demons I, don't age I was the same, nine. Bro. Listen, I what? was nine. I'm just like, oh. yo, clearly, <laughs> dog man and the girl like each other, so they're just going to like each other. That's right. So it's I didn't a- think about it. <laughs> Andre, when he was younger, said age was just a number, bro. That's why the Andre's the way he is now. Exactly. That's why Goku he's on a lot of police Vegeta stations. Are both uh, <laughs> lists. <laughs> Goku and Vegeta are gonna outlive their wives, right? Oh yeah, that's true. That's statistically, actually. yeah, they should. And then are they just gonna stay alone? Goku probably will. Actually, Goku they, doesn't even they, know. Like, bro, Goku's actually, not even married. Bro. Like, I, the guy doesn't yeah, even know he, what he's doing. This guy got tricked, bro. This guy woke up next to her one day. He's like, "What the hell?" <laughs> he's like, Goku's I just thought like, I was training, bro. I thought I was doing push-ups. <laughs> Vegeta's like, "Yo, Vegeta's like, yo, don't you kiss your wife?" And he's like, "What's kissing?" And the guy's like, "You have exactly. fucking three kids, bro. What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Go- What's Goku's kissing? like, "Oh, I, it's just this beautiful woman who lives with me and cooks me food." Like, that's, <laughs> and like we have kids somehow. He doesn't even know. I bet. You yeah. ask him. He's just like, what do you mean? Is there consent? Chichi oh, probably man, cooks up some far. crazy. Too far into this. Yeah, yeah, this, is, this is a new segment if he called. He doesn't know. Yeah, if he doesn't know. Was Goku tricked? Question mark. <laughs> she probably just used food metaphors for it. Yeah, yeah, probably metaphors. Hey man, as soon as I graduate school, I have some time. I'm gonna do a deep dive on. Chichi's like, oh, Chichi's like, you know what? Chichi's like, yo, Goku, like throw that spring roll in that in in the sauce, bro. And Goku's exactly. like, oh, I understand. Now. I understand. <laughs> Okay, let's. Nah, man, let's what are you talking about? <laughs> Goku was doing some push-ups, bro, and then Chi Chi just slid underneath. <laughs> okay, let's let's get. <laughs> okay, this is too weird. Why is Goku need, doing a push-up for Goku? Is like <laughs> lifting an ant. Like, that's how much of a workout too. that is. Yeah, but he does it. He well, does them still. Sixty thousand pounds on his back. Yeah, sure. He's like that yeah, still works. Yeah. All right. Anyways, yeah, um, obviously to, there's not much joke. else to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? What? Okay, how All do you I'm guys saying, think he's going to escape? I think Roxy is going to come. Reggie's uh, gonna. Reggie's gonna mess things. Up. Roxy uh, is so far away from. Yeah, she's, she's in far, the demon man. continent. Yeah, but she can do like she's a command mail wave, and it'll just go through the earth, and it'll just. Yeah. Not wherever. one time did he ever consider that she. I'm trying to think. At any point, did he get news about Roxy or no? This is the first time I think you've heard about her. We got that whole bullshit yeah. tease last two episodes <coughs> or something like that. Like, oh, we're close to each other, and yeah, you know, like, but we never, he never knew she wasn't close to him or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And the god dude said, oh, they're trapped in this castle, and he's just like, he's like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Like, I thought that was a good yeah. place. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> that's, that's what he did. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, so I, be- okay. I bet you, yeah, I think Andre's going to be right. Like, Rugerd and Eris are going to be like, oh, that's weird. He's taking a while. They're going to crash the castle like they originally planned to. Um, and then they're going to save him, and he's going to be like, oh, I guess we should have just done that in the first place. Oh. Literally. Yeah. Pretty well. Wait, <laughs> and then, then they'll move on. I kind of like, I kind of like the adventure thing. I really do still hope for it. Oh, yeah, no. I was kind of hoping at the beginning, yeah. at yeah. the beginning when he's like, it's been a year since I talked to you. I was like, oh, the time's up the year. Let's see what happens. And 
They didn't. Okay, no. this is what I need. This is what I need from the show. I need a villain. I need a concrete villain that like they need to. The chubby defeat. prince dude is a villain. Nah, He's bro, that guy's a no. joke. That and guy's a joke. <laughs> oh wait a second. I need like a badass villain. The king like, that murdered. Yes. Eris's grandpa. Keep going. Yes. Is that keep his going. Dad? Yes. I think or that was. I was just about to say dad? that. Oh, uh, could be. This is how it starts. I think this. I think we're about to get uh, into it. So, Sean, you might get your wish next episode. Okay. Followed by some. I was weird thinking more of like a slick but, bad guy, but you know, I guess big fat evil too. Big <laughs> fat king. <laughs> ah fuck we're getting cancelled alright uh, next uh, Wally Sean is I'm hey, alright bro he's a much worse person than than Sean calling him fat bro he's a much yeah, worse really? person than that I don't he care bro you, you, know, you know how the world works today it doesn't matter if you call a mur- <laughs> like if you if you tell a murderer he's fat you're still bad for calling the murderer fat alright it is what it is Damn. you know what I mean it is what it is you can't really do much with that um, hey man if I go to the doctor and they say based on your numbers you're obese <laughs> canceled what canceling my doctor you're gonna cancel the doctor bro <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do you gotta use the <laughs> medical term for it, andre it's respectful it's just oh, yeah you gotta so use medical obese term. so like is that better to you it's like listen listen you're not fat you're obese <laughs> is that better listen no, i'm calling you fat but if you eat one more, if you eat <laughs> yeah, one you more mars use bar the medical term bro <laughs> that sounds <laughs> worse if anything it's like you're it's like don't diagnose me yeah, i'm like, gonna go to the doctor they're, like, gonna, they're gonna be like you're not fat but if you eat one more mars bar you're gonna fucking have cardiac arrest so don't fucking do it <laughs> <laughs> and i'm gonna be like you're canceled I'm, I'm tweeting about this right now oh my god <laughs> crazy um i don't know bro anyways but whatever um next yeah, there's not much to say um talked Let's do talk. I thought there was more than, mm. but okay. I'll talk. Do talk. Oh yeah, you talk. Do talk. Learn from. Let's do I'm it. Learn from Alan. So basically, we start off where we left off. Oh, um, that's great, sir. Destiny, uh, that's a great. Destiny. Yeah, I think that's exactly where we started, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, but you know, how sometimes, bro, like episodes start like the day, the next day. Uh, or that's shit, true. You know that's I mean? true. That's Fair what enough. I mean. I mean, we started exactly where we left off. Oh, that's true. I like right? that. So Destiny, Destiny and Tact are facing Blondie and Hell and all of their many D2s. And then Tact's like, you know what I'm going to do? Forget you, Destiny. I'm going to tap myself on the head. And somehow I magically know that's going to give me powers, but like I'm going to just do it anyways. Then he becomes super fast. Or is he already fast? Because I think he's already fast, he was, bro. Remember they were sprinting in the friggin' yeah. forest and then he was just yeah. running the same speed yeah. as Destiny? He's so shown anyways. yeah, powers. He's displayed powers before, like superhuman physically wise. But then why'd he tap himself? I don't remember that, but continue. He Maybe goes, it's like he a does musician thing, thing to he, do, like, honestly. He takes it and he like taps himself in the back of the head and then runs. Anyways, Hell kicks him in the face. I mean, not the face, in the stomach. <laughs> um, um, Blondie's like, oh my god, how did he do that? And Hell's like, shut up, stupid. And then <laughs> stupid. Tack gets back up, tries to fight. Then Hell mm. cuts him, and then he's bleeding. And then for the first time in history, Destiny's like, oh my god, what do I do? I'm going to run. And then they run, and then they hide in a cave. And this is the point where I'm like, why would you not follow them? And Hell's just like, I want to have fun. Anyways, yeah. so then, so then <laughs> they're in the cave. Break. He's bleeding out. He's bleeding out. Anna's talking to Lenny at the at the other end. Lenny's like, Lenny. ah, shit, I'm late. Lenny. He's like, ah, shit, I'm late. And instead of hurrying after being late, he's like, let me go to a hotel and just have a conversation. <laughs> so then he does that instead. <laughs> they have Lenny. a conversation. <laughs> they, they, they wait for daytime. And then they're like, all right, now I'm going to go. And then they finally go. And at the same time, um, Destiny's like, you know what? You're almost dying, and I actually like you, and I don't want you to die, so I'm gonna go fight. And then she's like, hmm, where can I meet them that someone just cut down the tree and, like, accidentally left their tools within the stump? And then so somehow they both coordinate, and then they find a tree where there's hatchets in there. So then she picks those up, she attacks, Hell breaks them, and then hits her, and then she's like, oh my god, I'm gonna lose, and Hell's like, emit the feet, and then Tack's like, no, we're not gonna emit the feet. And then they're about to get beat up, but then Lenny comes, and Lenny's like... Now I'm going to buy some time and then they run away. They have a conversation, they argue, and then they figure it out. And then now they're friends and then they come defeat hell. And then heaven comes out of nowhere. And she's like, yo, y'all got to (laughs) stop. And then everyone's like, nah, man. I'm the strongest conductor. Blondie's like, I'm the strongest conductor. What are you talking about? And she's like, you're not even a conductor, bro. <laughs> Who the fuck like, are you? <laughs> you're not even a conductor. And then Hell's like, oh, guess the jig's up. And then she uh-huh. breaks his st- she breaks his stick, 
goes up to hell and then heaven's like all right um because you mess with tact we told you not to mess with tact so um fired good day you're you're fired yeah and then they walk away and then and Lenny's like oh so like he's only fired because he messed with tact not because he murdered a bunch of villages of people using right. e2s and the power and she's just like i don't know what you're talking about and then they walk <laughs> away and <laughs> And then the guy loses his mind. He's like, nah, man, I'm strong, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't need a music art. I'll just use my friggin' composer stick to compose music without <laughs> any person to listen to it. And then what happens to him? I don't even remember. I just remember, I don't remember either. Does it just end there? <laughs> pretty much it. Like it That's pretty much there. it. Oh, no. Then they go back to... Uh, oh, no. And then, yeah, the they, they meet with Anna. Yeah, yeah. Anna's yeah like, I remember they go back... That's it. And then she's like, I can I call you Destiny? Oh, oh, and, and then, then Talk like, does like the thing. He like looks at his shoulder and it's still fucked. Yeah, so it's he's like, still red. It's still oh, yeah. red and shit, right? And then they go back and is like, Can I call you Destiny? Destiny's like, duh, that's my name, stupid. <laughs> Dumb bitch. And then they hug. <laughs> and then she's like, Can I call you Anna then? And she's like, as long as you still call me big sister. And then they hug. It's sad. It's I mean it's not sad. It's happy. It's lovely, great, amazing yeah. character development. Yay, um, relationships. So, after all that, I will say the fight itself was very anticlimactic. Fire. No, it was fantastic. Um, like, VV shit. I realized man. that, like, while it was happening, mm -hmm. amazing. It was yes. just 15 seconds long. Yeah. Did, did it need <laughs> to happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I just think it's, like, it's 15 seconds long, and then... I can realize that, like, Mappa is Mappa, Madhouse is Madhouse, so they're like, yo, we need fire animation but we don't have the budget to make it long that's <laughs> what it looked like yeah. literally, right? literally so they yeah. just did it really quick and at first I was very upset cause I was like hell you have no reason to just let them go and then she shows up mm -hmm. didn't have any of the D2s so what was the whole point of I calling all know. the D2s there yeah. the first time if you're just gonna show up and then not have them when you actually fight but then at the end when she's just like nah I was just messing around anyways like I wasn't actually supposed to kill them because I'm not allowed mm. then it made more sense after that I was like okay so there's actually an explanation why she's yeah. doing this and then the blonde guy was just an idiot and didn't think pretty much yeah so sweet but <laughs> overall the episode was it was good great um, recap one and good a recap. half one and a half episodes one and a half good episodes in a row for um talk so yeah i don't i, I feel like it's gonna be season, one of the better ones yeah mm -hmm. yeah um i want to say i do in this episode i actually like it the most because i finally get to see how the relationship between um him mm -hmm. and destiny works with their power like scaling i guess because as soon as he's like mm -hmm. They had that like touching scene where he's like, Cosette, you're still here when he was kind of delusional. And she was like, Oh, yes, it is I. But, um, uh, when, when, and then I guess they get like a better connection there. And then he's like, Destiny, like, listen here, I'm back to being a dick, but also I'm going to write this song for you or whatever. Like, I want you to hear it, I guess. Aww. And she's like, Oh, yeah, exactly. She's like, Okay, thanks. And then she like, that last power like shot that she did, that was like yeah. pretty good choreography. And like, the, I guess mm -hmm. they have a lot of more energy to use. Um, because of their relationship got a little bit more intense or whatever. So I like this episode because we finally get to see how the hell it works. But I still don't get it. But I, whatever. We're going to find that out soon. His shoulder kind of looks There's... mangled. So we'll see how that goes. Do you think it stays that way? I think I think it does. I think it stays that way because it's, a, it's an mm -hmm. upgrade. I think because he's oh. dedicating more resources into her that he's also transforming himself. Um, I don't know. So I'm, I'm talking shit. It could just be a really bad bruise, and I'm being dumb <laughs> about a, it. That's a good theory, I think. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he he's he's yeah. he's able to give more of himself to her, and this is the way it shows. Like he's like his arm mm. is starting to deteriorate, or, or maybe get yeah. reinforced. I don't know. Yeah, it, it could be like he he maybe has increased in strength, or just uh, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. using because clearly they didn't go far into it, but clearly he displays power. So um, yeah. that I don't think the other. Uh, <laughs> Uh, maestros have like I think the maestros kind of just feed their music arts and they fight. I don't think the maestros yeah. are supposed to get powers as well. <laughs> yeah, so Lenny I think and the it... fucking blonde guy are just right. Like, yeah, exactly. Doing this and talks like so oh, oh fuck, <laughs> like, fucking shit, <laughs> I'm fucking dying. <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah, you're totally right with that. Yeah, so I think maybe utilizing that power is changing his body. Um, we, we used to see it as like oh. uh like it's infecting his body kind of right, because we right. were still kind of uh, 
because he did get injured around there too, and and uh, we remember if we were, you remember Cassette or Destiny said like, oh, his wounds infected. Yeah, um, I I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it does have a significant change on his body, and I think it could just be from using the power, and maybe he's transforming into something uh, that can better yeah. utilize that power, Absolutely. or it's just a side effect of using the power. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Like, um, what I was mm-hmm. thinking the same the same scene what you were talking about. Um, it's like. Uh, as soon as like remember before that before, when he before he got hit he was kind of pushing her out the way and like yeah. he was actually performing worse like he was he felt more hurt like trying to like mm-hmm. use his own power so maybe like dedicating power sources like willingly not just like l- like she's stealing it from me but more like I'm offering this to you use it yeah, yeah. like it, it changes alters his body like we don't like mm-hmm. he's a special case it's it, so we're gonna see it as it unfolds there's no other person that we can kind of like gauge how this works unless we do find someone like that um yeah. i feel like hell is kind of a crazy character i like i know she's a villain but like i like i like her as a villain because it's like yeah, ah too. yeah i don't really need you like whatever is she a villain? And, that, so. well that's the thing i don't know if she's just a villain or a tool to the villainess or villain villain dude but um what if like i, I could psycho. also think she, she could be like one of those like because remember before when they first met how she like took a liking to them and stuff? What if yeah. she's just like one of those types where she's crazy, but she's just like, well, I want to see you guys literally, grow and I'm going to use my own crazy ass methods. And I know happen. I know it's going to suck and I know um, Sean's going to hate it. But what if like, you know, you, we've all seen some, torp- some sort of harem anime. So you have your you have okay. your like childhood friend, which is Cassette. You have the meek yeah. one that doesn't really want to tell you that she likes you. And that's the Valkyrie girl. Valkyrie mm-hmm. or whatever you want to say, Andre, and then Valkyrie. then you and then you have the one that's like a bit crazy. Not you mm-hmm. don't really they're not really supposed to be a ship, but they they are. So what if like because imagine this we don't know if Ta can give power to others yet. What we only think it's destiny because everyone else has one person. What if he's able to like mm-hmm. use hell and give her power to like do stuff, and then she <coughs> takes a liking to him because like. As you can see right now, Blondie dude was giving nothing to Hell. It was literally mm-hmm. like, I'm she, Hell was there and Blondie's there, and like Hell can do whatever she wants yeah. with her power. So what if she like talks mm-hmm. like, "Ooh, Hell, yeah, here, here's here, here's my fucking leg," you- and then do something <laughs> with it? Like I don't know. Oh god. And but then, do you think Hell belongs to the the top head maestro? Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Him? I was gonna just gonna say I think well, who, that Hell who's and Heaven Angel? are both his. Is she another music art? No, Heaven. Heaven okay. is Sorry, the yeah. head maestro's music art. Yeah. Mm. But because Heaven and Hell would make sense, you have yeah. to... Like, I think they're I'm both thinking, his. Right? I'm exactly. thinking this, dude. I Yes, but in the, in, the, in, the, in the sense that Heaven is running shit, not the human dude. Uh, okay. I, I don't think humans have a... Con- I mean, the humans have the, the, the idea of control, but I think at the end yeah. of the day, the music arts are the ones that are, are controlling it. Um, mm-hmm. I don't even know if Heaven's bad, like you were saying, Andre. I don't even know if Heaven's bad. Like... I, I, I got the sense that she might be, but, like, she's literally like, yeah, yeah. don't touch talk. Like, we're chilling, dude. Yeah. Like, but we you know, know that like she's, ignored. we know that she's at least, at the very least, she's corrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah at she, least she, corrupt, or yeah. she needs something Lenny. to happen. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, oh, great, Lenny yeah. On that bullshit. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. so, uh, th- yeah, so Lenny did work for, I mean, we knew that, but, like, he's go- he's a huge part about, like, their, their plan. He knows like I, I'm assuming about it, because he, she's like, yeah, keep this a secret, and he's like, oh, just this, and she just like, like Andre said, just turned around, and said, yeah, fuck off or whatever. Um, so Lenny, <laughs> Leonard is like, or Leonard is like, yeah, yo, all right, I got you, I understand. <laughs> I knew he was a, mu- I knew he was a conductor, but I didn't know he left. Mm-hmm. I, That's well, like a, it was that numbering thing, but right? it doesn't make sense. No one else has numbers, so I didn't, I don't know where I thought that from. I don't know, but they, but Heaven was saying that he based, or not Heaven, um, the blonde dude said you used to be part of it, and then yeah. now yeah. he's like, you look, you look just as mess. When he said you look just as like ragged or whatever as ever, like I didn't know if that was just like an insult or if like, like some <laughs> shit, like either he's sick or like, I don't know if it's an insult. Maybe he's sick or maybe like the energy's taking a toll on him and he's trying to hide it and he's trying to like. Um, he's trying to like solve off. these issues, but yeah, yeah. trying to solve these issues before like it's his time to go. Kind yeah, of thing, right? well, well, maybe he's just really hardworking because he seems to be moving around a lot, like trying to defeat D twos and uh, like fix shit. Mm-hmm. So maybe he's just mm-hmm. overworked. 
and he's just like known for being that kind of person who overworks himself. But maybe he was like Hulk size before, and now he's just like skinny. And then guys like, yo, big difference, bro. <laughs> no, we're all reading that he's jacked, but like back then, this guy was just like, yeah, he's like, yo, that tank top can fit your arms, bro. That means you're small, bro. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> he never used to be able to fit in those. Man. Though, like, though, a blondie dude crops. when he saw Len- Le- Leonard or whatever the fuck is Lenny, um, mm-hmm. he literally like kind of like like what not you know the anime shiver it's like fuck he's here type thing um mm-hmm. he kind of did that so i'm sure um yeah lenny is super strong and yeah I'm, I'm not too sure if that means like he got weaker or like you just look as shitty as you were when you were here with us and like always you know yeah, always exactly. trying to like go, like it. go against us or something so uh-huh. it could uh-huh. could have been that i don't know i like lenny as a character i feel like he's funny yeah um i just hope but i just why? hope he doesn't die <laughs> Why I, I can see him dying. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why did Blondie make a big emphasis about demonstrating his power the night about attracting D2s? Mm-hmm. But in the morning, like I would understand if Hell said, nah, I don't need to use this. But why did Blondie not ever once say, call the D2s? Or like use your toning tuning fork to call the D twos. Don't he think did. he has too much control. I he did like it, when, it oh, for did he? for a second. Oh, actually, yeah. But like when they showed up, because I do remember. You're right. Um, what's her face said? I hear the noise again. Titan. Mm-hmm. Titan said she said he. And it was only one though. It was yeah. only one in the scene. Yeah, and then I I think she was like killing them like on the way there. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. But I saw. <laughs> but when but when um Blondie and Hell were like standing in like the. The past the opening, like they were just standing there. So yeah, the that was what was weird. <laughs> <laughs> like they didn't utilize the D two as much at all. Um, I don't even really know what the point of that. Was. Well, clean up the trash or whatever. But still, I he think didn't it was really more for us. Of it. More Plus, for us. Uh, like... He can he he can bring the D twos to him, but I don't know if he can control them. Like he can attract them and wake them up. But I'm not sure he can just be like, oh. But then why wouldn't they have attacked them when they were standing there at night? I, do they attack just anyone nearby or like I'm it's still anyone that anyone that's that, that's that um, what they seem like? That's yeah, it does seem like, like that. Something. I thought it was anything uh, music musical. related. No, like music attracts them to the area, mm-hmm. and then as soon as they see things moving around in the area, they just, they're just like, fuck it, and they're just like, mm-hmm. fuck it, let's do yeah, it. That's what possible. I, hmm. I don't know. I totally get it. I will say I though, know. like I really, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was the best episode so far. Um, the yeah. animation was really good in small spurts. Mm-hmm. I really liked the animation when Tat got cut. Like there was, there was some good, uh, some good effects gore, there. Like, I, like our, like our good boy yeah. Shaman King, eh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, is that the first time? Like, like I mean, obviously, I think Cosette was bleeding when she died, but like. Mm-hmm real blood like blood yeah, coming out I of know. someone i think this was like the first time that we saw like that shit happen and, and tax scream was really like it was really good <laughs> it's like <laughs> i can't even do this i'm coughing but fail wow good job sean do it, do uh, it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah he's like oh fuck <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly and yeah, exactly um that. something i really liked is they really showed a lot about the the blondie's uh personality like you can tell he's the guy who he stirs shit up and he but he's not meant for combat. Like, he saw... He was talking shit to Takt a lot, right? But when he saw Takt, like, look at him, like, that, like, you, killer, you killer look in his yeah. eye. He, right? Yeah. He, he, like, backed off a little. He's like, oh, shit, I'm not, I'm not yeah. used to this. Like, even just seeing him lying on the ground, cut and bleeding, kind of... It looked like it freaked him out a little. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I really like that, that little touch of, oh, uh, this guy is clearly not suited for combat. And I, I also like that they said he wasn't a conductor, because... Um, Hell mentioned like, oh, you hate music, like, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah it's yeah. stupid, it's emotional. And it's like, how are you a conductor if you hate music? Like, is yeah, he a lot of things like leading <laughs> up to there? I was like, none of this makes any right? sense. Right? And then yeah, as soon as no they sense. said that, I was like, oh, okay. It makes yeah, sense. Ah, that explains <laughs> a lot. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah that's great. Do you guys think the, the, that's the reason why they love talks? Because they know who his dad mm-hmm. is first of all, but also like yeah. he's controlling a D two that, or sorry, he's controlling a music arc that no one's ever seen. His power source is something they've never seen, but also his love mm-hmm. for music, and like I mean, he's basically like I don't know, like a prodigy, of course. So like, is that the reason? Like they want him to grow enough so then they can use him later. To like mm-hmm. do whatever they need to like is that the is that what you think is happening? I, I think so. Yeah. Think yeah. So I think um, boss man he seems nice, but I don't think he's nice. I think mm. no. He has some plan and like 
I don't think it involves the D2s, like, specifically, because I feel like, I honestly, it's just gonna be music like, arts. the more I hear, the more I think that, like, they could have they could have been rid of the D2s by now if they really wanted to. Yeah, it yeah. does feel like that. They're using it in, like, a power dynamic type thing to maintain power in, like, the world. Um, but I'm thinking he has some sort of plan that requires talk. And mm-hmm. if that um red on his red on his arm like stays yeah like now i'm thinking that maybe tact is going through a transformation yeah and they're waiting for that to happen for whatever mm-hmm. their like, overall plan is and then again again um half of last episode and this episode like they're they're getting my hopes up a little bit yeah yeah but i I'm know still, I felt i'm it still too. i'm still expecting he just goes to new york and plays the piano and then the anime ends Okay. No, listen. That's still my expectation. Listen, listen. And I might be overthinking things, but like I'm thinking there's like a like there's a whole overall plot that's going on. I, I think, think so I think there's gonna be I know I, I, I feel like that is maybe the case, but we got a glimpse of what the action scenes could be. Um mm-hmm. I know this anime is not gonna be too long, but like we got a glimpse of what the action could be. Once we get into these fights where Talk knows what he's doing, kind of um i feel like it's gonna get really good from there like i feel yeah like imagine a fight with heaven and and destiny once destiny becomes more you're taking a liking to talk more i mean she likes him already but like there's gonna be liking liking you know what i'm saying um once Yo, that low happens key, low key low key i'm thinking um hell is taking heaven's like like shit for now because mm-hmm. she's the boss mm-hmm. but i'm thinking like hell <laughs> might be like pushing talk to get to a certain point because hell doesn't like it so i think i feel like mm. there's gonna be like a that's right heaven and hell fight yeah and then oh. hell is gonna kind of be on their side so she's like crazy she's kind of a bad guy but she's kind of a good guy it's like a vigilante like a almost cannon. like like type yeah. Thing. yeah 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 Okay, so I'm thinking, like, I can might see be that. Heaven and hell fight, ooh, and then ooh, talk, and then, and then talk yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk Maestro. gives her some shit, right? and then boom, there you go. We think we <laughs> think hell's the problem. It's heaven, right? There you go, Andre. You did it. Then they take <laughs> rocket amazing. ship. They go to uh to your eternity, uh, you know, and then they get March back, and that's all I fucking ever wanted. But it oh, is what God it is. God damn it. Oh. I'm sorry. I gotta <laughs> you guys remember <laughs> Google? Remember when Google died? Away. Holy also, fuck. Also, oh, also, also, I just want to make an all the way side note. Sean made me read it. Tokyo Revengers manga. Yeah. Wow. Wow? Okay, hold on. Wow. Wait, what the fuck? I'm the only one that doesn't know. Okay, wait. <laughs> you are. Wow. Is, is <laughs> You're not going to be. You are. Please tell me. Please no, tell me. L- literally, from, literally from anime end to where it is now, all of it's better. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. wait. Can, can you tell me something? Is any of my bullshit I was saying before with Mikey even remotely close? <laughs> like, just say yes. I don't care. What did you say? Just tell me. Tell yeah. me what. Mike, like he's it's it's saying. Mikey becomes the one he needs to like help. Just say that. I don't care what. Like yes or no. Did you really say that? I yeah, did. He did. Oh my god! Am I right? <laughs> Am I close? <laughs> am I wrong? I know. Uh, I know. Every time Alan had a theory about this, I was like, really. How, how do you? <laughs> wow. Am I close? Some good guesses, man. Some good guesses. Oh, really? Man. Okay, okay. Don't you're tell me anymore. But pretty damn close, I'm, uh, dude. I live for this fucking shit. Like, I want everything. Alan, could be. everything really? Alan said about Tokyo Revengers that he guessed. I was like, damn. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I don't want to read it now. I want to watch it. I can't. He do said this. some other stuff too, and he, he's not mentioning. Yeah. It right now. I don't even remember the other stuff. I don't even remember the other shit. It, a lot of it. Yeah. Yo. It, Maybe you know what? Maybe to your eternity we'll have a rocket ship now. now <laughs> right? Inside, bro. Let's go, <laughs> rocket <laughs> ship to the moon, <laughs> to the moon, baby. Um, no, that's cool. Oh, my my cousin was saying yeah. like he he really likes the uh, Tokyo Revengers like manga. He yeah, he cool. thinks like I mean he thinks the anime was like okay, but it didn't do enough mm-hmm. justice. So hearing that solidifies what he it, was saying. Yeah. Um, I'm excited um, for it. I might read it. Fuck it. I mean, solo leveling's got me fucked yeah, up. So. Oh, this is the segment where we uh, love to say you gotta you gotta read that fucking solo leveling, Sean, because that shit only gets better from here. Um, and yeah, I've gotten over the relationship part. I just want to see him do some stuff. That's all I'm gonna say. All right. Just want to see him do some stuff. Did you catch up? Did you read today? I did. Oh, I didn't read today. No, no, I caught I up though to where you oh, were okay, last okay, week. Okay, okay. I didn't read today. Oh, all shit's right. about to like literally. This is how it goes. Mm-hmm. Like the last like four weeks has been like, oh shit's about to go down, and then. They keep the introducing new shit. Up, like, no, 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 no. Shit's really about <laughs> to go down yeah. this time. And then literally just 
still nothing still? happened yet Damn. shit's about to go down though my uh, yeah. dude <laughs> okay but this this ain't shit's no fucking this ain't no fucking dragon ball z spear bomb going down like no. if they just keep adding more to but, the plate and i we gotta ingest it like it's it's good it's good shit like it's the anticipation is yeah, good the suspense is good yeah. i don't know anyway read solo leveling everyone uh, yes, read so long. Read um, Tokyo Revengers if mm-hmm. you have a chance. Uh, I guess I got you now. Yeah, kind of have to. Um, I will say, like, <laughs> it got to a point. It got to a point where I was like, "All right, this definitely should have just ended here," but then, yeah, then it got good again. Like yeah. right after. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All that matters. It. I still think I it probably should have ended. I still think it probably should have ended, but but then it's okay. Alan wouldn't be. But but not <laughs> <Huh>? because <laughs> not because necessarily the story is bad it's mm-hmm. more because something in the story happened that has Bad. angered me greatly yeah i i'm with andre on that <laughs> one yeah it's like <laughs> why though like okay sure i would have just rather they ended it and oh it. hinata's his sister yeah, i fucking sister. knew it i fucking knew it <laughs> okay so uh platinum in <laughs> All right, well, yeah, we always go weird when every time we don't have we don't have nothing else to say, or yeah, I at least I, I do. Like you I'm, go dude, weird. I can't I can't do with these tangents. It always goes like too far. Like we <laughs> like it's always great conversation at first, but then like we wait just a little bit too Sweet long. Sweet home yeah. Alabama. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go plan and mend. Okay, uh, I can't um, do the recap. It's been a week, and I thought it was a new episode, and it was the I episode you I watched. Watch. You just it. watched it. I know, but like I, sk- I I literally just watched the one scene that I liked, so it was that's pretty much. Okay, it. fine. So, dude explodes. Um, yep. <laughs> cancer man explodes. Um, <laughs> don't call him that. What cancer man fuck? explodes. So I don't canceled. remember his name. He's cancer man. <laughs> He's cancer man. <laughs> cancer man explodes. Um, Mirai catches him. He's like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, that's why I wore this blast suit. There's an off <laughs> chance that I can... I thought this was going to happen. Yeah. I was like, that's a weird thing to consider, but fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. And then, so everyone's like, girl, is dead. And then sh- what Sean said last week about... He thinks that... Um, pla- uh, what's his name? Um, Metropolitan Man's going to come and clean up the straps. He was right. Yeah. Metropolitan Man shows up. And then he's like, oh my gosh, I got another bomb. I'm going to explode it. Are you guys going to be okay with that? And then Mirai's like, nah, fam. And then Cancer Man's like, no, don't do that. And he's like, you're <laughs> bluffing. And then Nasa's like, you're bluffing. And then the other dude's angel comes. She's like, nah, man. She can only tell if you're bluffing if she can see your face. But uh-huh. she can't see your face because you have a mask. Mm-hmm. And then they didn't want to take the chance. So Cancer Man's like, okay, I got this amazing <laughs> plan. Let's switch our angels. I'm going to get up, go, plan? and risk myself. And then... I guess his plan was just to die because, like, I don't. Yeah, that okay. That part. I don't great. know what his plan. Is. Anyways, <laughs> and then he goes. He goes. The white arrows aimed at him. He goes up slowly, and then he's like, "Don't if you kill me, you can't kill him. So you gotta leave after you kill me." And then Metropolitan Man's like, "Sure, but you're gonna be dead. So how the hell are you gonna know what I do after you're dead?" Exactly. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, um, he goes. He shoots it. Mirai loses his mind. He goes. He blocks it with his arrow. And he's like, "I don't know. You can do that." All the angels are like, "What the heck? You can do that?" The angel of Why knowledge God tell was us like, you can do that? "What the right? fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> exactly but no one knew he blocked it then Mira is like you know what wings are faster than arrows so obviously I should just friggin stab this man instead of shooting the arrow mm. which is very Ka- logical kind of makes it's sense yeah it actually yeah. did make it makes sense, a lot of sense. <laughs> right so anyways they go and then they have like a crazy th- um at first I was like yo this is great but then I was like oh this is all CG it bothers me anyways uh, but they yeah. have like a I fight. liked it they fight they fight in the air. It's a crazy fight. Blah 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 blah. And then the the other guy's like, "Oh my god, what is he doing? He's gonna die! What the hell is happening? Stop! <laughs> stop that! You're gonna die!" And then he's like, "You know what? He's not gonna stop. I'm gonna try something." So yeah. then he friggin' sprints in, shoots him seventy seven times in the right? face, and then <laughs> bah, 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 gets up. <laughs> that was great. I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> and then all that happens is he cracks his mask. Mirai hesitates for point seven seconds, and then charges. <laughs> And then he's like, oh, shit, that's a kid. And then he's like, too late, and then disappears. And then Mirai friggin' then they go back. They fly back. Um, <coughs> Saki's like, are you guys okay? And they're like, obviously, we're here, stupid. And mm. then they have a conversation. Mirai breaks down. He's like, I'm so sorry. I couldn't do it. I hesitated for point, like literally point one seconds, and it was too late. He got away, but I caught his face. And then Cancer Man's like, yo. Why'd you do that? And then Mirai started crying. He's like, you know what? Never mind. You're right. I'll leave you alone. Sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry. My bad. Uh, and then he leaves. And then he leaves. And then, yeah. 
That's pretty much it. Silence. Yeah. That's that's I you know what that one I think that was pretty good that was pretty good that was actually good absolutely job. fantastic good job so um, I love this episode I happened to watch it last week that's why I was having a hard time collecting my thoughts um, mm-hmm. how the fuck did the guy not die he got a glo- two Glocks to the back of the head uh, and, and the guy was just it's yeah, bulletproof he, got, he said it when he yeah, went I know I know but like I mean I, I mean if you're able to crack it that means you could have shot one bullet and killed him but I mean yeah um, that's <laughs> I'm no, just no, saying no, no, like no because. Because every like um, government conspiracy movie I watch, they have bulletproof cars, and after seventy-seven bullets, it eventually cracks. Bulletproof uh, only takes a certain th- amount of bullets. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was the exact amount of bullets it. that the guy had in the two Glocks. Uh, probably <laughs> Desert Eagles, actually. Um, so you're right. Yeah, that I, I didn't know, think I, about he, that. He basically shot a total of 12 bullets but somehow yeah. it was enough but anyways <laughs> and then he's like doctor fix me up and then doctor's like okay low key though and I he's like okay die doctor <laughs> uh, so who's gonna fix mean. him up next time that's true that's true oh uh, i would say I that's another doctor andre did that portray that fight better or the same or worse than what the manga i mean, you know it's been a while for you but <coughs> are you I mean, excited for the fights coming always, up i guess it's always better Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you didn't like the CGI. I right? have a, yeah, I have an issue with CGI, mm-hmm. but like I feel, it's not necessarily CGI itself. It's just like the same thing with the Dragon Ball, like um, Dragon Ball Broly, the movie yeah, Dragon yeah, Ball yeah. Super Broly. Like the CGI parts, it's it's just the contrast for me that that gets to me. But yeah. I understand, I hundred percent, I get it. I would rather mm-hmm. them do that than Shaman King it. So <laughs> you gotta agreed. <laughs> Right? It's just so, it's just hard like, to get used to like that fast, and then that scene is yeah. only like ten seconds, and then you have to switch back, and it's just like it's kind yeah, of uh, it's jostling. literally it's literally the contrast. Um, yeah. So in that sense, I do think that um, Attack on Titan did it better in the sense where like I really wish mm. it was all two D, but knowing in my head that Titans will always be CGI. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was I was able to just be like, oh, I know what this is gonna be like immediately. Yeah. And so that was okay in that sense. But um, going back to this, fight-wise, it's always better. It's always better animated. Yeah, yeah. Um, And the fact that I read it, what I've realized is I read it so quickly that I know, obviously, every major point that happens going forward. But a lot of the little intricate details, like, I forget, right? Because I binged it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I only remember them as they happen. But it it was great. I like this episode. (laughs) Um... I like the fact that, because it seemed just it seemed at the beginning that Metropolitan Man was just like, oh, he's like he's the one, he's smarter than everybody. Mm-hmm. But then the fact that Cancer Man is literally like, no, mm-hmm. I like I considered this, this could have happened. Yeah, I was just like, mm-hmm. I definitely didn't. Like the Cancer <laughs> Man is pretty I smart himself. Did. He's not too bad himself. Absolutely. Uh, but out of all the possibilities, I didn't. Ex- I would never have thought. Yeah, he's just gonna blow up this building. So yeah, I make sure I me neither. That was like, that never. was a great surprise. I like it's... that. Yeah, and I. I mean, I like Metropolitan Man like a lot in terms of his intellect, but he does have some slip ups where I kind of think like, you're smart. Like, why would you do that? Like, what? I don't understand how not resourceful he is when he shoots people with the red arrow like why kill the doctor like you still have him for at least 30 days like i don't understand the point of that right um but i did find it really funny it could have been his last day though you don't know yeah that's true but i don't think he's been injured before but it was still pretty funny where he's like yo i love your swag outfit bro like i'm totally taking that after i kill you (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) well they're kids right they're high school kids at the end (laughs) of the day like i always like again i always like to put myself in like the any character's shoes like if i'm met metro poly man or whatever like, uh-huh. fuck yeah, I don't give a shit. If, especially if I want to be God, I definitely don't give a shit about people's lives. I will blow up that building. I have wings. Mm-hmm. I have I have so many... I have, like, the best stuff because I've already killed, like, some candidates. I already have their... Um, and you're rich. Their shar- and I'm rich. And, like, my yeah, angels, the angel, like, whatever. Like, she's, she's, like, wants me to do this. Like, he has all this enabling factors about him. Like, yeah, I totally get it, but you're right. At the end of the day, they're kids, and they will slip up. And this is one of those times. So right now we know that, um, like our main characters know his face. They know which school he goes to, mm-hmm. and well, I guess they'll find out. But um, and then they don't know Mirai's face. Like Mirai doesn't has yeah. shown his identity. So that's huge, huge. Mm-hmm. But I feel like our main character, unfortunately, is a friggin' loser. I mean, in all the sense, and he will fuck up somehow, and he'll try yeah. and make friends with them. Like I. 
that's the thing. I get like you want to be. He doesn't good. know. He doesn't know what school he goes to. I, I forget. Yeah, I, I maybe not because I was thinking no, like Revel, and I was like, wait. He just saw his face for the first. He just time. saw. Yeah, yeah, he just saw his face for the first time. I thought Revel. I remember that whole Revel scene. He's like, oh no, the thing is at our school, but it was actually Saki. I totally forgot that part. Um, Plus, I mean, the dude has white hair, like. How yeah, it's, not, it's probably hair. not hard to, and like he's super rich and all that, so you'll figure Main him out. Main character energy, bro. That's all you gotta know. That's true, bro. <laughs> That's Killua right there. Killua of the season. Fair. Um, what if, what if like was a legend? Killua was a legend. Uh, what if um the the this guy here? I mean, this is maybe for Sean, but Sean, imagine like. Metropolitan Man actually teams up with our boy, our main character, and like uh, they fight like a person that's a little more evil, like yeah, really evil. You know really what I mean? Want that. <laughs> I don't yeah. really want that. I don't either, like, but, like him. <laughs> they could technically. I know Andre's not going to say shit about you it. Guys but are touch- No, you guys are touching on like very important points, and I just I want to say things so bad, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take a mental note of what's happening here, and then okay. try and get you guys to do like a. So you said this, like, what do you think about what you said now? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Kind of true, true, but true. I won't say anything now. <laughs> All right. I don't know. What did you think, but Sean? How did I you was know? right. I, want to say. I was right in the beginning yes. until you were. until the girl didn't jump in the way and die. <laughs> yeah, I was going to. That's what I was uh, waiting for. I wanted to she say last week. Up, I almost said it. I'm like, I know. Yo, she wasn't even there. What the fuck are you yeah. talking about? I'm like, oh, shit. I, I was thinking, like, I was thinking like, he catches the guy who, who got blown up. Check. He's holding him in his arms. Check. <laughs> Check. Um, he, he comments on how the he's a good thing he wore the juggernaut uh, suit because of the explosion. <laughs> Check. Uh, Metropolitan Man shows up to the scene. Check. Uh, he he shoots an arrow at them. Check. And then girl doesn't damn jump in front of the damn arrow. God damn it. She's got plot armor, bro. She's gonna be she's gonna be a pretty good character. I'm telling you. She's she probably would have shot the damn arrow at the guy. Should bring her next time. And I, uh, I don't know, bro. Like what if? Hey, like, listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. Listen, if Saki yeah, was. Sure. Lo- Loki, if Saki was Nase went to Saki, yeah, three episode anime. <laughs> three episode <laughs> that's anime. fair. Yeah, that's fair. Or just nothing would ever happen. Like she would just never do anything. Um, I don't know, bro. Saki yeah. red sharded um, Mirai. Remember, like Saki, I, I'm a hundred percent certain. Like Mirai has like a lot of broken like childhood uh-huh. stuff. Saki's literally like, listen. If I had white arrows, I would murder this guy <laughs> so fast. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, right. Good. Are you insane? Listen, Wait, do we I know? I know that he can't touch the angels, but mm-hmm. if he even looked at my angel wrong, I would kill him. Still. <laughs> That's the energy I feel like Saki. Has. Yeah, I feel oh, yeah? that too. I was thinking, like, yeah. do we, Sean? Do we know? I guess Andre too. But do we know why Saki wanted to kill herself? Not yet. No, not yet. No. Mm. What if he's the reason? Yeah. What if Metropolitan Man's like? Like touched her wrong or something. Or like she oh my god! I re- <laughs> no, I don't. I'm think just so. be- no. You know what I mean? Like she, she got like abused and like that's why she's there and like people that could be it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. We'll I, I did tell you. Out. I did tell you guys before that you will find out. Eventually. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, I know. Um, but like I feel like because like what the Metropolitan Man's all about. Like oh, don't kill the don't kill like kill the ugly girls. Don't kill the like he is that mm. type of energy like a weirdo dude. So what if Saki was one of those people he took advantage of when they were younger? I mean, how young can you get? I don't know, mm. but you know what I mean. Like, I or his best friend. Ask- True. I'm going to ask kind of a leading question to you guys right now. Okay. Um, considering it was mentioned in the anime, um, so Cancer Man basically says, like, after after um, he, Metropolitan Man starts making the deals and stuff, mm-hmm. Cancer Man's like, why is he acting like this? This is, this is weird. Like, I would figure he would do such and such instead of this. Yeah. What do you guys think about, like, his attitude and like what he's saying, like how he's acting or how he tried to handle this particular situation. I don't remember that. <laughs> so, Alan, like, do you remember? Listen, I'm not spoiling anything because it did happen. <laughs> so, like, like, like that. the part where, like, the way, like, the way he's acting towards who, like the Metropolitan Man and all that. Like, do you notice? Do you notice any differences between this interaction versus any of the other interactions that he's had? Because um, the bomb suit man, he's. I'm gonna call him Cancer Man. Fuck it. Cancer Man is basically like, yo, like in every other situation, he's pretty much made a hundred percent certain that there's no risk to him, but all mm. of a sudden he's willing to face two people, and he, yeah, yeah, and he's by himself. Like, yeah, I was wondering. Weird? That's what. That's part of why I thought it was dumb. Like, like that was one of the slip ups I was thinking of because the other one was, um, whatever I said before, I can't even remember. Oh yeah, killing the doctor. I thought was dumb. I thought yo, killing dude, the uh, girl was dumb with the the wings, and I thought that showing himself. Like so often, it was dumb because like what if 
like someone's gonna kill you like it's not that hard to kill someone in this world like yeah. um does huh Good does question. um th- okay yeah that's that's kind of crazy i'm thinking about now uh, i have a question though uh, andre you can say yes or no it's not gonna spoil anything for me does does his angel have any like ability that she can share with him at all like other than no, like no. none of the angels do no they, they don't like, the she can't just say like yeah she can't be like yeah you have you're not gonna i mean they here. can offer advice they can offer advice but they don't like give any like future or like okay okay because i was gonna be like maybe he had like some foreshadow like he could tell like he's not gonna die his time is coming up it's not now so he could pretty pretty much do what he wants mm-hmm. and he's fine but that doesn't no make i don't sense. even think the angels know that kind of stuff no no they don't they don't they didn't give like any the way they it. portray heaven in this anime like it's literally not it's not like a heaven in this sense like yeah like human souls just like chilling in a freaking big ass pool and then just yeah. there Mm-hmm. Um. It's, yeah, I don't know. He it's nothing pretty much. Right? He he's usually pretty strategic before like this interaction, and he doesn't. He's always a one for one type of guy. Like like Sean was saying, like you were saying, he's not really like a yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me just like you know sacrifice and like on a gamble. You're right. Like I've never seen that from him. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, like I guess I I'm, I'm not sure. Like I I have to like think about it a little bit mm-hmm. more. But you're right. This like, character characteristic did change there though. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. It's it's definitely a leading question, and I think it's mm-hmm. it's not gonna it's not spoiling anything for you guys. But yeah, it's just something that maybe since you guys are watching this for the first time, you wouldn't have mm-hmm. picked on picked well, up on as one as thing like intensity mm-hmm. as I did. One reason I thought he may have showed up personally was because I thought, oh, um, he has he has two arrows. We know that, um, and he's also able to shoot twice the distance. So I thought because because he can like yeah. latch arrows on top of each other now. And I was thinking maybe he thinks nobody else knows that and he can get them kind of off guard by shooting them from, like, extra far away. Uh, right. But that was all I could think of, like, oh, he's going to do something uh, with his new abilities that nobody else knows he can do kind of thing. Wait, who are we talking about? For... Wait, hold on. Who are we uh, talking about? Metropolitan. Yeah. Oh, I have a I'm question talking about you. cancer, dude. Uh, wait, Metrop- wait, wait. Wait, I have a question for you because okay, this go, is go. something that, like, I actually don't know. Um, okay. He <laughs> hasn't killed anyone that has a white arrow. So he still only has his. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. If he were given that the fact that his red arrow, no matter how many people it kills, it, he can't shoot more than one red arrow. He still kind of just has more. Right. He yeah. Can, yeah. Like he can he, bring in more. If he killed, if he had a second white arrow, would he be able to shoot two at a time or would he or would it just like what benefit that would have no benefit then? I don't think what? so. Having two white arrows. Yeah. Well, I thought that because he doesn't shoot two at a time, he just puts one on top of the other, so he can shoot twice the distance. I thought. Yeah, but he just if stacks he had, it. If he had an extra white yeah, arrow, yeah, yeah, no, no, I don't think the there's white arrow no benefit to having more than one white arrow because yeah. specifically it back a white arrow, no. Yeah, specifically. So the, say the red is good. Though. Say crazy world, he kills Mirai and uh-huh. takes his white arrow. Mm-hmm. Having two white arrows doesn't give you benefit. Than no, I don't think so. More benefit than having one, right? No. Aside from distance, unless you can also stack a red but arrow. But then you, you the can. He present. did. That's what he does now. He oh, well, then yeah. Red with the white arrow, though? Can he stack a, a red arrow with a white arrow? No, I, st- I still think the, he can only that's shoot That's what one he white. did in the. Yeah, because what he did in the the archery thing last yeah. episode, he stacked the red and then put the white on top. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that would be the only benefit then. Uh, having two arrows, if he can't shoot both at the same time, there would be no point. Because he can't shoot. Because from what he's demonstrated, he mm-hmm. doesn't shoot two red arrows at the same time. No, he can only. No. He the can only thing, only... the amount of people yeah, that yeah. he can control. And, and, yeah. that's and, it. A, and a white arrow can kill someone instantly. So why would you need more than one white? Oh wait. One. Well, if there's two people, maybe. But that's it. But no, that would only work if you can shoot two right. at once. Yeah, which right. You can, so, so it, no which you can. So there's no point. Unless, mm. unless. Oh yeah, it doesn't make sense. Unless un- unless we don't know something that we should know, like or like we're gonna know something we don't know, like where he can like, because mm-hmm. now they're going melee style. So what if he can like he can't shoot one, but he can like bring it out and like can hold two, like double double dagger or some shit. But if you can hold two, why wouldn't be able to why wouldn't you be able to yeah, shoot that's right? True. That's why I think I don't think it's a it's a possibility. Uh-huh. But unless he can yeah, combine no. white arrows into one giant white arrow and some just fucking do like what? fuck the arrows I don't know <laughs> kill you worse. <laughs> <killed> the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it kills you and then like shotguns out into other people. I don't know. Man fatally <laughs> died by killing shot. What? Or or maybe if he combines it, it's now faster than the wings or something. I don't know. Hmm. 
but I don't, think I don't so. know. That's kind of cool. Um, don't oh, worry, well, guys. This, that question isn't leading you anywhere. So okay. This is Damn my. It. This is my. This is my right now brain. Uh, like I'm just using my. Forget everything that happens in the future. This like this is like a legit question mm-hmm. I had at the time. Okay. So, okay. Can we go back to the this. question you asked? I thought we were talking about cancer, dude. So. We're talking yeah, about no. why why did um Metropoly Man do what he did or whatever Metropoly dude yeah I don't I'm going to go yeah. back I'm going to say I don't I really don't know I think he overestimated himself that's what that's what my um that's what my gut's saying like mm-hmm. he, yeah, he, he 2v1 before and he's like yeah these guys are idiots so I could do this everywhere yeah. else everyone's below me so yeah. cuz he was he was he was like basically um what do you call it surprised by Mirai's like action like who would have thought to deflect a shard with a sh- Oh my god! An arrow with an. Well, I mean, yeah. Was it arrow, arrow with an arrow? Arrow with arrow. So mm-hmm. who would have thought yeah, of that? Well, so no one soon, knew you could do that, right? No. Right. So as soon as he did that, like, angle. imagine. Okay, imagine this. You're literally thinking like, this guy's stupid. I'm gonna kill him, and then he goes and starts like doing some like I don't know katana dance yeah. with you, and then you're like, wait, what? And so when he was about to die and he looked straight at him, um, mm-hmm. I think he was just like, oh shit, this guy is like, he's like sick. He's like, you know, he's he's practiced with these daggers better than I have. So I feel like. He he just overestimated the situation. Thought he was better than he was, and then he met someone mm-hmm. that could match his skill. Even though it was like a flight or fight, fl- flight or fight situation, whatever it fucking is called. I'm gonna um, tell you from my experience playing footy, um, the most dangerous people sometimes are the people that didn't know how to play. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and then like, suddenly had some fucking literally they just did random about. ass shit. Like because like just you can wildly. think of all of the possibilities possible, but when yeah. someone literally doesn't have any skill, they just yeah. do some random shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't account for that because you have no idea what it is. Absolutely, and that's I feel actually like that's similar to what it is. Right? That's actually makes it really hard to play some new people in chess too because you're like. I don't know what you're doing. It's confusing me. Exactly. It's like, is is there something deeper there? Like, so so okay. uh, Sorry. Yeah. We don't know. Go 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 ahead. Um. Here's a long shot for you, Andre. A long shot. Okay. So um, when the bomber dude, the guy in the bomber suit, showed up, he talked to the girl. Yep. He talked to the girl. Metropolitan man heard his voice on the thing. Maybe he knows who he is. He shows up. Think maybe this guy's his dad or something. Like, where did he get the bomber suit? Is he rich? Like, I don't know. Could be his dad. <laughs> maybe. Uh, that's why he showed up. Maybe because he recognizes his voice and knows him. I don't know. Long shot. Ooh. I'm not gonna. You know. <laughs> yo, that yo, that's a, that's better than my rocket ship theory. I like that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that shit a lot. Um, you know, I'm not gonna say yes or no to what. You okay. Said. Okay. And yeah, no, that that was that. You know, that's right, not though. bad. I, I'm I'm proud of you, Sean. Yeah. That wasn't that bad at all. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Um, that's, yeah, like, why, why pull up like that? I have no idea. Hmm, interesting. Mm. mikey Coon. Did he know? Mikey. My question is, did he know Mirai was there before he showed up? I don't no. think so. No. There's no I way. I think he, he only knew after. Unless his fucking scouter said some power levels over 9,000 <laughs> over there in the corner. I, do, I don't feel like, like he knew. <laughs> also, last unless, thing. I, oh, unless, unless he showed up specifically just to collect the arrows and wings. that's yeah that could be and then too. he's just like oh shit they're alive still or just to verify <laughs> oh, he's fuck. dead yeah also sure because he would have to collect all the arrows and stuff um i, I will say too like i really like how they're uh showing us uh mira's mind how it works because it, it mm. i feel like a lot of what he is the way he's reacting to things is very much like someone who's in that kind of mental state where like they're depressed. They're anxious. Um, yeah. They don't really want to live. And, like, yeah. They, they, and they're... I will say that's not in the manga, by the way. Like, oh, really? The scene, the scene where he's like, yo, what would you do if they uh, had a yeah. way they were pointed at Saki? Mm-hmm. And like, he goes through that whole scenario. Like, yeah. It's not in the manga. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good to they know. Invested. But I, yeah, I like they how invested. they even portrayed that in this scenario because he's just like, he's in this moment where he's just super nervous. He doesn't know what to do. He freaks out. Uh, like very much like someone who's like that would freak out and j- mm-hmm. just like focus on one thing and just go after it like like you're insane like uh, all he was thinking is I need I have to stab you with the red arrow I have to stab you with the red arrow it's all he thought and he just went for it uh, and it was like man this guy's like freaking out and crying and like re- he's really upset but he's really trying his best you know yeah, it's it's a also, good it's a good scene. Take good a scene. moment to just admire his fucking suit. That's a fire. Ass it's fire, a suit, dude. Yeah. When I he like when this. I saw that, I was like, oh shit, this is sick. Like the bomber suit, I'm like, dude, what the fuck is that? But also, like, I look over and I'm like, damn. I actually want to see. I've, I'm sure they got Saki a suit. I wonder if like 
like hers like re- like looks like um your eyes or anything like that um or if it's like weird like <coughs> like useless i don't know we'll see all i'm saying is, is in this opinion. world in this world as it's not um oh. that's whether or not she has a suit to begin with well that's what i'm saying i'm sure i'm sure they made her one i don't know if we'll ever see it but like why why make mirai one if you're not going to make saki one you know it's one of those because maybe they think Saki's useless. All she has is red hair. She's literally she like fly. she's literally like a serial killer, bro. Like why not just let she her go kill fly. the guy? What's she gonna do? Fucking <laughs> she's gonna do like the same thing they're doing, except she has to fucking run after a person who moves at the speed of light, bro. She has Yo, to fucking run after he, this is the plot twist. What you do is you, you um Mirai picks up Saki, fucking angel wings out of there, whips her at Metropoly Man, and then she she like oh she God. she lunges at him with a with a with a red shard. And then from behind, uh-huh. um, what do you call it, Mirai? Just wings hey. in his ass like a red thing, and then we're good. You forget that um, their strength stays the same. So if Mirai tried to throw anybody, it wouldn't go very far. He lifted her up once. <laughs> you can fly you can with lift her. lift her up, maybe. You can't throw but her. But try throwing a human. You don't have I to throw. I can probably you lift you up. It's, uh, you know, I can uh, probably lift you up. If I friggin' threw you, it wouldn't go you, very far. You, you cannot lift me up. Saying, you cannot lift me up. And not, that's not because I'm saying you're weak. I'm fat as fuck. But um, l- think about this, Andre. All, 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 all she ha- he has to do, it's the, it, what is it? It's Newton's third law, right? Or something like that. Second law, thir- first law. Um, where he just flies. And let, it just stops flying. And then she could just keep going uh, at the speed of flight. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, my inertia. God. Yeah, so that's, he could that's just... Actually, that's, that's actually... That's actually not bad, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. actually a smart fucking Yo, thing. But what if Mr. he, like, Schroeder miscalculates... Fucking, like, yeah, Mr. Schroeder, Mr. Schroeder, Schroeder made out. your life legit, bro. <laughs> you guys played way too much Breath of the Wild and tried all these freaking glitches and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yo, so those freaking glitches <laughs> where they freaking explode on the shield and they ride yeah, the shield and exactly. they fly fucking across the map. And, uh-huh. yeah. and the guy arrows like the, the ancient thing like from 10,000 miles away. I'm like, all right, why the fuck do I even play this game? I didn't, I never played it. That's why I saw it. I was like, I'm not playing this game. Um, uh-huh. But yeah, I don't know. Like Planet Man, <laughs> definitely top tier like for this season. He, this is our tier eternity, I think. Um, that yeah. being said, though, because we're getting to the end, um, nothing tops Komi can't communicate right now. Best anime uh, oh, yeah. for this season. Uh, oh, yeah. I Did don't episode care. Episode eight come out? No, no, it's still seven. seven. I think it comes out. I've, I've, watched, 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 now. I've watched seven. Okay. Yo, seven. Yeah. shows getting bussing. Honestly, I was. It's I good. love it. Uh, it's 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 good I, feel like but when you guys were having a conversation like you're like oh it's getting good right i thought there was like 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 friggin story development I oh, no, like, oh, no, no, really. no 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 so why did you guys why did you guys say know. that like some shit <laughs> happened bro you know, well, <laughs> shit did happen bro she went she went again so like that's oh she talked she talked that we yeah, learned that she can talk on the phone yeah yeah let's go she said i don't write all the time i can talk on the phone she she said also, uh, how yeah. funny was it also also she, that sorry. scene where she gets like hurt in the beach uh-huh. and yeah. then like she's bleeding and then she, and everyone's like don't worry we go home and she's like please don't go home yo that hurt me to my soul yeah. if i hurt my if i stopped the whole group of people from being mm-hmm. able to do something i'd probably kill myself I, literally bro oh, oh literally. damn <laughs> no no that's like, please guys that's don't some, don't do not stop that's please some second hand embarrassment yeah. shit that i cannot handle too <laughs> yeah. like i would actually have to <laughs> Like, noose it up. Like, I'd hang. Like, yeah. Actually. Um, what are you going to say, Sean? I think you were going to say what I was going to say, but go. I was going to say, like, how funny was it when she was in the bed and she was, like, yeah. having anxiety about everything she was, like, experiencing for the day. And one yeah. of the things that popped up was, like, why do I grow cat ears when I'm, like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It was, she <laughs> questioned like, it herself. <laughs> okay. So she noticed, so it's not just the anime thing. Bro, bro. it's <laughs> real, bro. That's real. But um, what I was going to say was my the funniest part so far was for me was, like, she just got the phone. She just got everyone's numbers. And then she by accident yeah. called um, the dude. I forget his name now. But she, yeah, the, instead like, of saying yeah, she's yeah. pretending and it's like, just pick up and put it to your ear. It calls automatically. Literally. Yeah. And, then, and then and instead of saying like, okay, like she she can't talk. That's the whole point of the show. But then instead yeah. of saying like, got to go by or like, bye. She says, the number you have called is not in service. Like, please leave a message. And then, and then he's like, what? And then she's like, okay, good night. And he's like, okay, good night. Like, what the fuck? That, honestly, I loved it. But, like, I was just like, this doesn't make any sense. But I'm here for it. Like, I love yeah. this shit. It's um, but, yeah. It's but, yeah. And I love how I love how the girl freaking kidnapped this dude, put him in a closet. And everyone's oh just like, uh, she just wanted to be your friends. It's 
<laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Like I, I understand. Like, like she's going through some stuff. It's okay. Exactly. I love how he notices little stuff about her too that nobody else does. And it's like, oh, uh, it's, yeah. it's it's and just and a everyone's good show, like, bro. oh, you're great. And he's like, she's just mm. like, did you get your hair cut? And she's like, <gasps> <gasps> and I feel how she literally makes every. She has two. She has two modes. By her not talking, she makes mm. people feel like the best person in the world. Yep. Or like complete and utter garbage. Yeah. Like that girl at the friggin' hair salon is just like, oh my god, I'm bad at my job. I can't do this. Why am I here? It's just because she she got scared and wouldn't talk. And then the other dude is like, and the other guy's like, you're right. That is so insightful and amazing. I'm gonna be an amazing person and like you're great just because she just looked at him. Yeah. And then the friggin <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. It's, it's a good one. No, no, no. It, you it guys is, are right too. It it is, her dad is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god, your dad. I did not expect <laughs> him to be exactly like her. I thought he was gonna be like super outgoing and stuff. Yeah, and like the like, total opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's her mom that's the opposite. Yeah, her mom, mom is freaking like super and everyone. She's like, oh my god, how are you? And then she's just like, and Comey can't even tell her mom to stop. She can't talk. <laughs> she can't talk. Bro. She can't say anything. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> exactly, anyway, it's man. a great, it's a great um, feel it's good great. A- a- anime. I just, I won't say like it's like the best story. It's a feel good. Uh, you watch like yeah, once great. here and there, um, and then yeah, you just. Go I understand for it. why it. I understand why it has such a, like a strong cult following. Oh yeah, it's just a feel That's good. It, it, I, and it, it it goes like our whole world now is like mental health and all that. So I'm sure people like relate to it a lot. I mean, not to maybe to not that extent. I do. I, I like, I relate to it on an uncomfortable level. I mean, yeah. It bothers me. Oh God. <laughs> See, Andre, Andre didn't want to watch it cause he didn't want to look in the mirror. That's basically the difference. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's pretty much our episode for today. Thank you everyone for watching. No, it's okay. You forgot. Yep. Moroku Chan. No. Shit's. We don't talk about ba- we don't talk about mid shows here Damn. on this podcast. We don't talk about that <laughs> mid ghost shit. All right, about to go down. Honestly, like that. Sh- Listen, like when you know exactly what's gonna happen, mm-hmm. but it's still able to portray a, an appropriate level of anxiety. Like the scene where they took the bus to the cave, and then that crazy one like actually notices them for the first time. Yeah, and he's That's like, true. "You can see me? Oh shit, you can see me!" I'm like, "Oh shit." <laughs> what's gonna happen? What's gonna I happen? Like that the whole yeah. time. I was like, what's gonna happen? And then the time where she's just like, hmm, maybe, like because we've been noticing. I was like, yo, maybe these souls want help to like pass on. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah. Need things, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But then she's just been so oblivious to it. Yeah. But then finally, this last episode, she acknowledges it, mm-hmm. and then she's like, maybe I should like help them. And then immediately, <laughs> as soon as she decides the freaking thing that she sees, and she's just like. Yeah, not that one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely, like, not definitely not helping this motherfucker. Not this one. This one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. And then right after that, her friend just like, yeah, you just got to ignore things and like your life is better. And she's like, you know what? You're right. I'm going to just keep ignoring things. <laughs> wow. It's, I mean, that's <laughs> great character enough. development. Honestly. Yeah, but, and then, and then the freaking evil dude walks in mm. and then there's her freaking substitute teacher. So I'm just like, hmm. Hey, it might be nothing because I I have no expectations for this, but this is no. already a lot better than I thought it would be. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't expect the story. I thought literally it would just be crazy adventures of her trying to ignore these ghosts. Mm-hmm. I thought that was gonna be the whole thing. Yeah, but now, we got now there's like <laughs> yeah, there's plot. There's like <coughs> mysteries around the friggin' the spirits that are protecting her. Mm-hmm. Like what does three mean? And then they said one more. Yeah. yeah, he said three the first time, and then one more the second one, right? So, mm-hmm. like, does that mean they only protect her three times? Yeah, I think or so. Or is there something? B- but is there something bad going to happen after they reach their limit? Mm. Ooh, like, we don't Maybe. know, right? And know. there's like bad ghosts, and there's that one random ghost that was just looking for other ghosts just to hatch it in the face. Oh, I love that one. That was my favorite <laughs> so far. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Have you watched all that? <laughs> Are you cut it? Uh, I think I, the, the last one I haven't cut up, but it's fine. Like I, I'll yeah, catch so up. Yeah, so the ha- the Hatchet Man is the is from the most recent one. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I can't wait. I can't like wait. that that is probably the one that gave me the most anxiety. Like, yeah, like, same. You're crazy. just going super slow, I, like going one at a time down the list, just hatcheting one person. He's like, not that one. <laughs> oh, not that one. I will say, like this, it portrays like I like I like how they portray all the all like the the evil people like you have such simplicity with like the main characters like you know the generic anime and then you get this like gruesome looking ass like ghost and you're like 
damn yeah. the budget went to that dude this episode like that's for sure um mm-hmm. so it's kind of cool like I, I i will say like the season of anime is pretty good because not only do you have like um like good stories like adventure like mishoku and then and then you have like talked with like you know like the battle scenes and all that but you have like komi and then you have like the ghost what was it called how do you say the ghost one maroku chan maroku chan and you have maroku chan to like yeah. offset maroku. Maroku. Something show, like that. No, just show f- Hey, I think it's hey, Mireka. hey, 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 hey. Maroku fixes infinite tunnel. Is that That's what it's right. called? That's what it's called. Um, wind, wind tunnel. But wind yeah, tunnel, wind, yeah, wind tunnel. Wind tunnel show with ghost. I like. I like how. I like how we have like a balance of like the. The, all the all the episodes this season. I feel like we're not bombarded with too much. We have the feel goods. We have like the funnies, and mm-hmm. then we have like the. The intense ones, like, like the weird ones, and all that. I'm so. kind of scared because, like, I do enjoy like the variety we have, and I'm scared that like I missed probably like a hidden gem from last season. I'm telling you, I, I again, I always on, right. I'm on Reddit, and 86 keeps popping up, and it's fucking pissing me off. And people are saying it's like the best Did show you, ever created. What about that toilet one? Uh, that toilet one I heard was pretty good too. Toilet? It was about some. I don't know what's called. <sighs> toilet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Keep we'll talking. I'm looking up. I'm looking up super quickly. Okay. Okay. So well, while Andre, uh, I guess I start wrapping up. All right, guys. We have socials. What do you want to talk All right, about, buddy? We have. We have. Well, nothing. I'm gonna end it while Andre <laughs> on, figures yeah. this out, and then um, we'll we'll talk about it after the end. So, guys. Okay. It's been a. It's been great. Episode 39. You know, it's it only goes up from here. Um, we have YouTube. We have we have all the podcast sites. Um, so. Every Friday, you can listen to us uh, on any podcast platform you like. Um, I personally use Spotify. Um, YouTube, Saturdays. And uh, that's where you can watch us and see my beautiful hair, Andre's skin. And I, I don't know why I said that. And, and Sean's skin at this point because you and guys Sean. have great skin. And um, Sean. Yeah, you can watch the colonizer, Thanks. Sean. Uh, but yeah, Andre, did you find out what toilet thing you're talking <laughs> oh, <wow>. about? <laughs> toilet bound Hanako-kun. What? Toilet bounty <laughs> hunter? Toilet, Is that what you said? Ba- toilet bound Hanako kun. Oh. I heard it's great. I, don't I, know. I see I characters. Let me see this. And I'll there's one them. other more. And there's one other more. And there's one oh, other bro. More what the fuck am I seeing here? You're a what lesbian. I have no idea what it is. I just heard it's good. Okay. Lesbian? Oh, is that what you just said? Bro, I don't, I don't know what I'm seeing. I should not have clicked this. Um... <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So that everyone scares is, me. Whatever you just said. <laughs> so to, uh, yeah. If you guys if you guys want to take Anyways, Andre's. Anyways, what I really want to say okay. it's life lessons by um, life lessons by. Uh, oh, Omi San. Omi Chan, bro. Omi San. Omi Chan. That thing's god tier. Yeah, we'll get to that soon. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure. Uh, we'll see you on episode forty next week. Um, and yeah, uh, keep up to date with all our stuff on our socials. Click that link tree. Yep. Fuck the Discord. I'm too lazy. But we'll get it going. We'll promise. I promise we'll get it Literally going. Literally, all you have to do is add one link to <laughs> You the don't give me the login. Okay. See you guys later. You don't later. need the link tree. Okay. Just add it separate. If Fuck anyone you. Asks all right. Andre for one more login, he's going to lose his shit. <laughs> he's going to kill himself. <laughs> I know. All right, guys. Always the same thing. It's been a pleasure. Alan, Andre, Sean, checking out another week. Let's get it, boys and w- girls. Bye. Bye. Okay, there it is. I always have to. I always uncue and yeah. Okay, bye.